We're live. That was fast. My husband loves me. Doesn't he? How's it going? Don't you? Of course. You better. Hello. Happy Friday. It's going to take a second. Take a second for what? Oh, why is that doing that? Their it's ad. Good. They have to, you know, like watch their ads, get let them be paid and all oh, right. that. Thank you. Right. Anyway, for those of you with YouTube Premium. Uh, <laughs> They should be paying. No. Yeah. Uh, we've got. Hello, everyone. Just relax. Slow your roll. Hope everyone's getting through this weather. Lovely. Yeah. Knocked over our trash cans last night. It was a quite the disaster. Yep. Hello, everyone. I had to wear a coat all day. It was cold. Yeah, but we did not get snow or anything. They did up the hill, though. So there you go. Uh, yeah. I'm working on class one truck stuff tonight. Oh, my God. Hey. You. Squints Palidorus. Wait, Thank wait, wait. How's Matt? Uh, I mean, he's alive. I've been talking to him. I assume he got snow. And I assume that he's cold. That's about all I know. Yeah. No, it's not actually cold here. I mean... I mean, it was like 50? Yeah, not. But I hope everyone is being super careful and staying home and watching us tonight. Hanging yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. At Harley Designs, what would you recommend for a first tier X4 mod? Uh, go watch the series that I did that has like 16 episodes laying out all of the mods I would suggest that you do. Ashley Conley's checking in. It's the TRX4 budget build off. Matt and I both did it. There's 16 episodes from each of us. That's... Hello from Independence, Kansas. Just got home from Lawrence. Rock yeah. chalk, baby. He's my, uh, alma mater. <laughs> Let me dig out my small violin because Josh had to wear sleeves. <laughs> Rob Montana, it's good to see you. What's Thank you going for on, five dollars. Oh, are you in Kingman? Is he with Rob? Is he with, Four, with negative ben? fourteen degrees below zero last night in Whitefish? Sorry to hear about your kitty cat Nicole. Thank you. James Calvin, STL Auto Care. I haven't seen that name before. Welcome and thank you for the donation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob, as well. And yes, of course. And Rob thank you about thank you for all the Kitty, yes. yes, the where the fog did we win? <laughs> the only time it was ever fun to go to a game was when you're in college because it's the most uncomfortable stadium, but it's so much fun. Nicole was always like, we need to go to the fog for a game. Like, I don't. Eric Baker's here. Squints, Polidors. Are those buck molds for Lexan or molds for CF? Carbon fiber. The, uh... uh so this is I'll I'll be using both parts of these still. So this is the side I will load with carbon fiber in here. And then I'll take the silicone inner portion and put it back in and press it back down. He won't let me get RC Daily. Thank you for the five dollars. Why doesn't Vanquish sell wheels complete hubs and brass rings the whole nine yards? Because not everybody would want that, so you you just allow people to buy only with what they do want. That way, it's... and then you get to the RC Underdog. Thank you, Paul, for the donation. Hey, Josh, Nicole, got you two on while unpack at my new place. Fancy. I right, we're coming. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lacos, do you guys have snow? Cold ass SoCal. I bet they got the five, yeah high desert. The grapevine was close today. And grapevine's pretty high, so. Josh and I agree STL is way better than Casey. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the donation. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's just different. It's just different. <laughs> and thank you. I have to address. Everyone keeps saying sorry about my kitty, but thank you. It, yes. it was rough. It was a hard week, but was really, it? it's more of a habit thing. My life yeah. has definitely changed. All, all of the things that we used to do to cater to the very old cat. Yeah, my life has changed very much, but she was a wonderful friend for 16 years for me and yeah. 12 for Josh and, you know. All right. Magic School Truck, thank you for the donation. Any ideas when BFD Twin Machine Gears and Aluminum Standoffs will be back in stock? Um, I don't have a date on that, but soon-ish, I believe. Um, soon-ish, yeah. I don't, I don't have an exact date to give you on that, but I do know that they're gone at the moment, but we'll be back soon. Gunner, thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello, Nicole. Tonight's co code, Nicole makes it better. <laughs> thank you. At Satisfied Jerky, go get some amazing jerky. Yes. 
Uh, Alar in Estonia, it's negative two degrees Celsius. Can you translate for me? Uh, it's like 30. Like so it's warm. <laughs> Crawler, that's what he said. Crawler baller, thank you for the donation. What's up, fellow nerds? Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. I replied to your message on Instagram, Crawler baller. Did you see Porsche pictures I sent you on Facebook from James Newell? Um, I don't know. it. So, just not pointing. <laughs> uh, Matt and I both have been getting forwarded a lot of Porsche Dakar type photos, many of which we've been, we're being forwarded the same ones that like are going around social media at the moment, like a lot. So <laughs> I don't know specifically if I saw yours or not, but um, I did get some good ones. So uh, like we just said, that's the hood. I did 3D print an insert. You can see that it's hollow there. Uh, I did have to destroy it when I took it out. I'm going to reprint that and backfill it so that I didn't have to use as much silicone. That, you know, that helped. But that's my inner structure Wait, to the carbon said fiber mold. His is 118th scale? So what now? 118th is most likely what he's talking oh, about. It's like 118th scale. That's, that's like very tiny. Oh, wow. Mine is the mine is a 118th. Hmm. I do not recall that one. Thank you, Meat Sleeve. Um, wait. I know. I always, I wish, I just, if I could have one wish in life, it would be that I can make, well, like, world peace and, you know. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, it would be that I could make these bigger so that I could see what. Oh, you want to see what everyone's yeah. avatars are? Because from where I'm. That's exactly what that's supposed to mean. I know. Um, hi, Josh and Nicole from Selena's Valley Scaler. It's a low crit. Hello, Chris. But a lot of us don't want to buy stuff separately. I gladly pay more to be able to buy an off-the-shelf wheel package. If I could, I have hundreds of anguish wheels. I, I know what you mean, but it would just make every... It would be. It would either have to double all of the SKUs because you'd have to make them available in a package and separate, where a lot of people don't want to buy everything. And it would be a hard thing to do with just inventory levels and everything. There's a lot of reasons why we can't. Um, yeah. It is really unfortunate that you are using blue instead of flush color. Thank you, Brazen Scale. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the color agreed, I ordered. Always agreed. Always. <laughs> I am super glad, though. If I would have ordered it and it just came that color. It... Really? Oh, I I'll... tried sending photos of Porsche the dancer, but I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I love from Chattanooga, Tennessee. I love Chattanooga. Have I ever been to Chattanooga? No. I've been through Chattanooga. You have, but we all we went there on our way to Back some family home. vacation, and we went for like a day and did like they had really cool benches that I remember sitting on. I was a kid. That like, was what you remember. It's a cool city. They had cool benches. Like artistic installments. You're artistic. <laughs> You're artistic. And the um. Cool benches. Aquarium. We went to their aquarium. So this, Will there be blood tonight? I God, We're not demolding actual carbon fiber. It's just the silicone. So let's hope not. Um, this mold is the driver front <laughs> fender. Ever That's super cool. Ben. You know what? It's little things in life, guys. <laughs> you should. That's why I'm a happy person. Did the aquarium have dope fences? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> Kitties. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Just too much to make two different offerings. What hubs wheels do you recommend for my Phoenix then? Um, wheel style, your choice, but 350 hubs is my recommendation. I am drinking a Michelle L'Amour Cerise the Day. Um, we got these from the Lost Souls Brewery in Vegas. You should name your truck Risky Business from the Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> Um, I feel like I should name it Herbie just to, you know, since it'd just be the wrong pour. It's the wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, meat sleep. I see they're called munchkins, those short legged kitties, but it's a birth defect and they don't live very long. We're done with that. Yeah. We're, we're about to go to barn cats yeah. so they live forever. Yeah. Buck Dandy for president. Buck Dandy's not even here. Adam sat on the Forrest Gump bench in um, Savannah. Now, is everybody going to make fun of that? Because I think that's freaking cool. That's a bench I would love to sit on. <laughs> I bet you would. Complete your tour of cool benches. <laughs> better, no, better than no tour at all, right? 
<laughs> right? This city sucks. There's hardly any benches. You know what? <laughs> Unsubscribe, unfollowed, blocked. So <laughs> my... <laughs> yeah, my mom was crazy for one also. Oh my God. Oh, you're... Oh. Oh, uh, Perry G. We... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Joshy. Did you? Nope. Oh. I'm fine. Oh, Buck Dandy is here. Buck Dandy <laughs> is always here. <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> Where the hell are we supposed to Shut up. Crow below studio. <laughs> when I used to drive a bus in college, I would count all the benches on my route. <laughs> Angelina is here. And Lacos date night down in uh, SoCal. We drove past you guys a few weeks ago. Yes, and I did. was surprised that you were that close to Vegas. I was... Josh, have you bought any more great flex seal deals lately? He did scare himself. You're right. I did. I was like, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> all of, are all of you vampires? Look at this audience demanding blood. Suki! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Barn cats are invincible. A four part mold. Damn. I do miss the SoCal warmth from KOH. No joke. Yo. No. No stop and holler for a wheel and such. I know. How much fun was Vegas? Oh my God. Vegas was so much fun. We had the best time in Vegas. We did have a very good we time. We did so much amazing stuff. It was fantastic. And it was all because we didn't have to plan any of it. <laughs> my buddy, Cody's wife, Rachel, she... Planned. Well, they had like a list of things and she like even watched TikTok. We went and found like a speakeasy that was next to a janitor's closet in the back of a, like, um, what do you call those? Like food court it, yeah and then we like there's this donkey on the door and they were like oh i saw that on tiktok and we opened the door and it was a freaking bar back oh, there ghost donkey yeah your ghost burrow no ghost donkey ghost donkey yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just watched josh's asshole puck around that slip. <laughs> <laughs> benches tacos and tattoos shit got real yeah. we just watched the tattoos <laughs> yeah we did not get the ten dollar tattoo with them um but there's a there's our front fender. Can you see this this is a wheel arch, so this is this would be cut out. That's the headlight right there. The uh, oh, I'll show you. I did see all that all those issues in Portland. Curtis D, they was it was so awesome. It was just like random. Oakland tuning in, watching from my machine fab shop, Sonic Motor USA. About like that. I'll pass on the ten dollar Pepsi. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that gonna be freaking rad? See, I thought I screwed up on this mold. I told Matt not to print it, and then I realized that I did. So is this body gonna be made out of silicone? <laughs> I mean shit at this point. Why not? Hey, that'd be kinda cool. Can I have a silicone Porsche when you're done, says Alex? <laughs> but that's a that's gonna be the start of what this thing's gonna look like. Oh, how freaking cool is that? Oh, that makes, that's as, mo that's as excited as I've ever been for Perry G says, silicone body parts. While Bill and Bill's in Roseville is doing a tattoo fundraiser this weekend. We're just not tattoo people. We just, we love them. I think they're beautiful. Nicole has tattoos. I do not. I mean, but like silly ones from my teenage years that I can, can uh, cover up. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my wife just begged me to make a box cake for dessert and will probably give me hell later for helping her cheat on my diet. I would. I would I'm give you hell for it. so excited for this thing. I'm just going to... Oh, it's going to be so good. Silicone bodies, the least hard of all the bodies. <laughs> least hard of all the hard bodies. Are you going to go in with a rag top? That would be cool. I would yeah. love to see you. It, it will be topless. It'd be cool to fap a little... An actual, like, rag top, yeah. rag top? Dad could do that for you. So, oh, I'm very excited. Josh is making the same face that I make when I get a new Lego kit, says Alex. Topless silicone! Woohoo! <laughs> When's the thick boy shirt coming? 
now I, yeah. What would a silicone RC body weigh? Um, I mean, <laughs> depend. This is there's there's not there's a lot of mass here to it. Like, I'd have to I'd have to get a density. More scale points. You're right. Yep. What would it weigh? What would a full silicone body weigh? I mean, you gotta make you gotta have a hollow inside, right? But this fender weighs on um paul is a lego technic porsche gt3 alex this is 389 grams so um that's 14 ounces almost so it would be heavy it'd be a lot <laughs> Philip Cockrum. Hey, folks, good luck with the show. Get out and RC, everyone. <laughs> Bruh, gummy bear Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all, to all of our creepers out there, we love when you show up. We love when you, we're so glad you're here. You mean we, lurkers, not creepers. That, that is what you meant. Lurkers, yeah, we have all, of, everybody here is a creeper, probably. <laughs> <laughs> March 25th, Crawler Show and Shine at Mount Diablo. Lots of vendors showing up. Yep. I had uh, somebody message me about that, and I said, message me when it gets closer, and I will try and remember to be there. <laughs> <sighs> of course, my wife walks by when silicone implants were mentioned. <laughs> like, what? Like, what? What are you watching? Uh -huh. Gunner, I'm definitely a creeper. Sure. <laughs> oh wow nicole way to call us adult men out <laughs> adult men playing with toy trucks do you have info about this build and also before that are you guys ever gonna do any parts for it hammer ray um for the hammer ray i don't know about the hammer ray we'll see it's still it's still a possibility like a rock ray isn't it pretty much um and we the, we made parts for the rock ray in the day that we could possibly fire back up um, it just hasn't been done yet. Uh, as far as info on this build, Matt and I are doing our Road to the Rockies series, and that's where it will live. I am super excited about... Colorado? Yeah. Yeah. I want a curry real axle to match the curry wrap. Um... Yep, I, I'm super excited for Colorado, though. Yeah, it's going to be so fun, the, especially TPH guys doing it, because they are fabulous. Um, any idea if I can retap a 440 for an M3 safely? Mm, uh, no. I, I mean, possible, sure, but you're not going to get much thread engagement. Uh, you're going to end up... I, I, I would just say no. Okay. I would love to tell you differently, but picked up a modified Red Cat 10 4 well WS real steer. Do you think it will have will do okay in class three comp? Wow, I don't know why I had such a hard time. Um I don't know of any Red Cat that was four wheel steer that would be class three ready or capable. Um the only one I knew that they had was like a motor on axle style, which you you aren't allowed to run. Um what is the actual model? Maybe I'm just not aware. New Monthly Mayhem idea, making drift car rock crawlers. That one has been suggested. That'd be fun. Interested trombone sound for the 440. Um, are there any plans for Vanquish to do another limited release vehicle? You mean like the Ripper? Uh, no, no plans. Stick to that mass market where the money is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> rather, <laughs> than, rather than where all of the headaches lie. Yeah. <laughs> Do nitro crawlers. I will always fight against another ripper. Even if other people want to, I will hard fight against it. Yeah. That, there's not enough of a market. <laughs> They're just so much headache. Yeah. Have you seen Crawler Canyon's VS410 with tra Traxxas axles use of servos for overdrive dig and locking diffs? <laughs> no. <laughs> 155 Vanquish wheels, please. 
What is the hex size for the BP SLW screws, please? Uh, three thirty second. Unless you're talking about the beadlock rings, those are one sixteenth. He did, but he was sick. It wasn't the. What's that? Did you you blamed it to the mods of you feeling sick on this? No. Oh. I didn't even. I don't even know. If, I know. I did, did tell God him. I guess. Warn you about last week when you drank one of those potion bottles. Yeah, I got soup last Saturday. I didn't get out of bed until like eight o'clock at night. Just didn't. Couldn't get out of bed. I was. <laughs> Chris Kelly. I can hear Baller's disappointment echoing through Minnesota with that statement of no more. It's okay. We have plenty of stuff to sell to Baller. But... <laughs> it's fine. Have you experimented with RC construction vehicles? Juan, I'm just reading this because... I want the bulldozer so bad. Adam, right. So bad. What? I don't know. I don't know why I want a bulldozer, but we don't have grass in the backyard anymore so like i feel like you know it's a possibility <laughs> thank you lacos thank you exactly what 8k later i you could do it way better i mean way cheaper i'm pretty sure that the that a bulldozer could be had for less than three and that sounds like a deal after hearing 8k doesn't it what how much? What'd you say? I wasn't listening. A bulldozer. You can have a bulldozer for less than three. Okay, I don't. I don't need a bulldozer. I mean, that's true. You don't. But we don't have dogs, so no dog poop. Nope. <laughs> Jeremiah Selberg, thank you for the donation. Why is HPI posting about the venture? Are they bringing it back, or is that a trolling post? They no, they still have it. It's still like a supported thing technically from them. Um Yeah, exactly. I could have a real one for 8K. That was what I was thinking when you said a 3K bulldozer full size. You're talking about little? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're insane. I thought you were talking about a full size one. Where would I put a full size bulldozer? This That's yeah. silly. Where would you put a scale bulldozer? In the garage. Where? <laughs> There's a room. <laughs> it fit under the what happened to your grass our grass got torn up and it was fabulous and they put down rock yeah i had five more dump trucks of dirt delivered last week want any of that dirt for the dozer no all right mold is reassembled this mold is going to be tricky to load and i why did you put it back together because that's how it goes when you need to load it Hoping. Find one, find a used one from an RC gold mine that went belly up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I wasn't asking you, Nicole. That was a Josh. Oh, sorry, Dale. <laughs> God. <laughs> <sighs> this, oh, the scale one sits right next to the real one. This is going to be difficult. <sighs> Do the joke. What's up? James Calvin, STL Auto Care. Thank you for the donation. I thought you didn't do tracks, right? Oh, Good call. That is a, that's a astute observation. Rubberdiculous. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rubberdiculous. So when is VP going to come to follow suit and make a comp rig to compete uh, with the SCX-10 Pro? Oh, I know what you mean. Do you still want your, debt tur your jet turbine? What? Uh, kind of. Oh, yeah, no. Kind of. I feel like a jet. I, I feel like a V2 of the Phoenix speed car, but jet powered is where it's at. Mercedes on stage four is mad because I gave you money and not her. Aww. <laughs> Hey, you know what? You're there. You should be present. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> be present. Um, I work at a place that has bobcats, too. You, you want one with tracks or wheels? What's your favorite Porsche full-size? I don't even want to ask. Favorite? I don't want to emasculate my husband that much by asking him. About what? Your favorite Porsche. Porsches are I'm awesome. I'm not a fan of Porsches. Nicole doesn't like them. I, I mean... 
Porsches are when you want a guy to think you're cool. That's Corvettes I, are when you want to think when you want a girl to think you're mm, cool. That's still not. That's <laughs> I'm just still saying. Still not the case. But I, honestly, I there isn't a lot of Porsches I don't. There isn't a lot of 911s that I don't like. That fair to say? Um, like almost all the 911s, I'm just a big fan of. Yeah, Rubber Ridiculous ranks right up there with Sea Fart Fire. Dude, I know. That's what I was saying. I was like, Rubber Ridiculous is an and amazing... And RC next Tuesday, you guys. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Alex says, girls don't think Corvettes are cool. You are weird. Nicole. I was going to say, I was like, that's not true either. Nicole dri- changed her mind if she drives a Cayenne. True. Because, yes, I'd love to go fast, but, like, it's a Porsche. I'd rather have an Audi. What? It's not... What's this? You, oh, you love R8s, though. Right. Yeah. You Corvettes are... equal New Balance shoes. Okay, fine. Whatever. Which I have bad ankles, so like comfort is important. <laughs> Who are you rotting for in the new Formula One season? You know. I like I, turtles. I don't have like a, a specific driver that I, I have, but I do love. I, I still, I mean, it's pretty impressive to watch Red Bull dominate like they do. So. Fern Solo, I like turtles. Lacos, what is, he says. <laughs> slant Norse tar, nose Targa. Is that what his dinosaur is? No, a Slant Nose Targa is a type of Porsche. 911. Oh, I thought targa. that was a turtle because Lacos was saying it. Uh huh. Because Lacos has a dinosaur. dinosaur. Yeah. And Angelina. Uh, Tim Hunsker, thank you for the donation. Thank you for help Thanks. on the slicer settings. Hey, no problem. Tim picked himself up a Prusa. I don't his... think he is Alex. Schumacher's not driving this year, is he? Nope. Mick is out. Yeah. And uh, Nico Hockenberg took his place. Ooh, helping mm-hmm. a friend build a GT40 kit car. Fun. If I was going to build a kit car, it'd be one that Nicole hates. What, a Cobra? Yeah. That's what everyone bu- builds on a kit car. They're awesome. <laughs> That's what everyone builds on a kit car. They're not. It's they not... Are... Awesome, because that's what, how did I know that? Because they're freaking awesome. Mm. I would... Oh. Get a Daytona instead of the Cobra. I, I like the Cobra so much better than the Daytona. Technically, he's a reverse, so if Hamilton has cramps at the wrong time of month, he could get the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Reserve, sorry, I said reverse. <laughs> Cobra or Ford High Boy? Uh, Cobra. Why do a kit car when you mine it? We couldn't afford the kit car. Let's be wait, real. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you can buy a new the wait, a new one. What do you mean you can buy a new one? Oh, Alex. Yeah, his. It, I don't know if it was Alex Schumacher's kid, but it's a kid. It's one of the Schumacher kids. Michael Schumacher's is who it is. Let's see. Okay. Shelby America is making new Cobras again. Interesting. Red Bull winning is like calling the VXT to a 4.75 tall tire. That's not true. I don't know what any of that was, but... He's trying to say that, well... Hmm. No. I take offense to everything you said. (laughs) Okay. Fine. All right, flashing is trimmed on that one. We got two inner... This, this one was a mess last night. I was... No, the hood was a mess because I took and I submerged that inner, but I had too much and it just overflowed everywhere. Oh, you answer. If Matt comes in here, let me know so I can make tell him to start printing his... Well, his fender molds. Will those be forged carbon fiber? Yep. And the, is the incision... SAE 90 millimeter shock, a good shock for the Phoenix or the 90 millimeter incision shocks better? Uh, the SAD is what I prefer now. I like that shock better. And it's cheaper. Wow, that's amazing. Perry's neighbor had a SCCA Cobra that he raced. I like it. Yeah. My parents' neighbor has the OG 67 Cobra halfway. Whoa! Now through the build, he was in it for almost 200k. Sounds about right. So, why do you, what do you recommend the front to rear weight bias to be? Uh, I mean, it all kind of depends on your driving style and how tall your truck. Like so much. Uh, it's 
really a personal preference thing, but like go for a little bit of front bias, you know, 60, 40, something like that. There is no magic number. I've heard people be like, you really want exactly 63 to 37. We found that this, it's, there is not, that's mm. not the thing. Not G10, thank you. That's a good looking shirt Nicole's wearing. Thank you. We there have you them go. for sale. It's linked in the description. Oh God, we're so gross. Hey. I know, we have gotta, to though. It's have, my job now, so. I have to pay you somehow. I know. Uh, any tips for making my first forged carbon fiber mold? I want to make a UTB-18 hood. Oh, okay. Um, any tips for it? My buddy Dawson's here. Um, if you, so that this method that I'm using now, it's like kind of the same as the normal forged carbon, but it's a little bit different. Uh, but you could do it without CAD completely. You could just take the actual hood, build a clay base, and smooth it, get it all nice and good, and then pour yourself like, uh, pour yourself a plaster mold from that, you know, mold over it, plaster mold, take that off, and then backfill with silicone if you wanted, and then just use, like, use the exact same things that we're doing. Um, but then you wouldn't have to deal with CAD at all if you don't want to. And then with the silicone inner buck, it saves so much time and it's so much easier. The parts are thinner, super light. It's the way I would recommend. The best way to private message Josh is probably Instagram. Instagram is usually best. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fern Solo, thank you for the donation. Josh, I met you at Proline by the Fire 2021, I believe. Yep. And now that UST is over, are you planning on making it to Florida next year? It's always at a really bad time of year for us. Um, it, it's like... We would love to. We will try. Being early sure. February, it's just always... Yeah, we always have something. It's always something during that time and it, it's but we would love to eventually we will yeah i mean i want to go to every rc event ever it just depends on timing right yeah joker 510714 thank you for the donation f1 tv pro user here rb all day starters following since sebastian was our max golden boy foam and vp wheel setup you suggest for <laughs> j concepts tusk yeah, you, rig is sub five pounds uh okay sub five pounds I would go with the uh, the Crawler Innovations uh, Little Novas in soft front and rear, but specifically get the wide ones for the tusks. Um, I bought them by accident when I was building my tusks and the wide was fantastic for those tires. So soft front and rear because of how light your truck is and wide version. There you go. Don't forget to make a draft angle for the silicone mold. I'm currently cutting the mold off my silicone negative, LOL. Um, yeah, you, you don't need, you don't hundred percent need to do that though. My, like this, uh, the hood had no draft angle. Um, it's, you know, as long as it's pliable enough, it's able to, to pull out, so. And then my other one's just a four piece mold because I didn't, of how everything goes. And Thinny Bard, I would like to know when you guys will have brass portal weights for the F10s. Um, constant. Just check because as soon as they get made, they go into packaging and then they get put on the website. So it's like you they could happen every single day. So you just got to keep checking the website. Oh, James Calvin got his bacon jerky today from Gunner. A bacon jerky is like candy. Yeah, it is. Um... We need do need to come to beat the creek. Yeah, that's another one I wanted to I want to make. Too. John Gavin Dellinger, hey man, first stream here. Welcome. Would you Hello. recommend me building an SDX twenty four, buying and upgrading an SDX twenty four, or getting an FCX twenty four? Um, I wasn't a big fan of the FCX twenty four. I know a lot of people like them. I didn't like them as much. I prefer the SCX twenty fours. Um, so if you're going between those two, I say. SCX. He says he's been checking every day. Keep checking. You'll get it. Yeah. The, you know, when they go up, they're, there's not always going to be a lot of them, so they're going to, they can go fast. Dawson, um, we did not get snow, did you? Oh, I bet Dawson did for sure. Brandon got pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Oh, Adam hasn't gotten mail the past two days because of the blizzard, so no jerky for him. Dang it. Good evening, YSU printmaking. Insert obligatory question about venting tires here. I say FCX, just saying. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people like them. I just... A I foot? Don't. 
I did not like that FCX at all. Good night. Just knocked over an entire plate full of two millimeter screws for my to my semi truck in the living room floor. Sorry. Been there. That's sounds like the worst. And they're not magnetic, or they're stainless. Um. Right? Well, it depends. What is happening over there? Hey, sorry. Magnet fishing. The yeah, they <laughs> they might be magnetic. So for our people who run 24 scale, FCX axles under an SCX is the best I run myself. Yeah, I... I you I, don't do enough 24 scale to have an opinion. What grit sandpaper do you recommend to after you cut a body and want to clean things up? Oh. I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> I just cut them and then usually... Jake Door go. Crawlapalooza is our absolute favorite. Carl, we uh, but we, we we were at the first. Don't make it home. Eleven crawlapaloozas. I made it, the very first crawlapalooza ever was two thousand seven, hosted by the Arklamis. No, was it Arklamis guys who did it? I don't think so. Wow, fish built. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Yeah, thank you. Sold my Jeremy. home built seven hundred horsepower Mustang GT last night that I built over thirteen years. So here is my thank you for all the amazing content. <laughs> Also, everyone hit the thumbs up button and let's blow this stream up. Oh my gosh, Fish Built, you're amazing. Well, can, congrats to congrats your- Congrats or I'm sorry, depending on oh, whether- Oh, gotta be. Moose Jaw says 200 grit. There you go, that- <laughs> Oh, Wink's getting them. Is one odd kitty. <laughs> but Fish Built, thou can you please send Josh some pictures? Yeah, because the, I would love to see your project. Even if you wanted to sell it, like it's sad when you sell. Oh, for sure. Like, but amazing. I, like, miss my Hayabusa all the time. The new ones look really good. I'm glad they look good for you to keep looking at them. Oh. <laughs> I bought a commercial snowblower this year for my hundred yards of driveway in north northeastern Ohio, and still have yet to use it. Really. Crazy. What motors would you use for a 6.6 six clot buster sled puller? Sled puller? What? You said 6 six by 6 yeah. clot buster sled fun. puller. That'll be fun. You need that big battery. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, God. Man, that's... Uh, you really got to beef up that Yeah, exactly. That now it gets to build something else. Well, I hope that that is exactly, I hope that that is the case. Justin Opsall, thank you for liking us. Good job, Fish Bill. I hope you didn't regret like I did. What? Had a coyote powered 66 Falcon. <laughs> Good night, Fern. Can't believe no electric Mustang yet considering Dodge already went electric. I regret selling every bike car truck I've ever sold. <laughs> I no longer sell anything. If I buy it, I die with it now. <laughs> no, that is what <laughs> we're trying to avoid. <laughs> we do not need a car or a yard full of cars. Like we are already white trash enough for California. We do not need that. <laughs> RJ, thank you for your donation. Watch your scale news every Tuesday. Love it. Thank, thank you. We're glad you're here tonight, Friday also. Yeah, they do make an electric Mustang. It's just a crossover. They're actually yeah, it's really It's just cute. absolutely like not them. a... It's not a Mustang, though. They should have never named it a Mustang. No. I, I like the mach -E. There's cute. two of them that are live around here. And I'm just like... Every time I see it, I'm like, I like it. I know. I know. Um, agreed. Go to 700 horsepower rock buggy. <laughs> because... Like, so for every kid or for like little David, when you hit him in the shins, like we're just trying, we're just going for compound fractures, just right. through the legs. I think maybe. <laughs> um, how to tell Nicole's from the Midwest, she pronounced it coyote. <laughs> it's a coyote. <laughs> coyote. Yeah, they call them coyote engines. Coyote. Like, and I, I say coyote as well, but unless I'm talking about the engine and then I'll say coyote. I don't know. I've never heard of a coyote I, engine. Yeah, a coyote engine. That's what comes in the Mustangs now. Um, 
Or, you know, F1. You should have, things. you should write a script and have Nicole do the scale news one. No. Um, the Flex Seal <laughs> episode is what got me hooked on watching your channel. <laughs> Looks like Mustang and Tesla had a kid. Gross. Yeah, I see that. I yeah. totally get it. I not, yeah. It's not for everyone. What motor do you use in your competition rig? Um, so my... It is an electric Explorer. You're right. Scale Nats last year, all my competition trucks had uh, the Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Magnum Stubby brushed motors. Um, my, my scale comp truck right now, though... Uh, it uses a, I've got a Holmes Hobbies revolver in it with a Crawlmaster V2. And I've also used a Fusion. So kind of all over. Um, Say the word measure. 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 Henry's RC Garage. Thank you for the donation. Holly Land Lark M1. What a difference now. Thank you, Josh and Matt, for the info on the live stream. I... Isn't it the best? I really, really like it. Finally finished the rusty STL Sunday fridge. Tagged you, tagged you on Instagram. I shared it and put it in my. Uh, oh, I want to see. That's so yeah. cool. I put it in my highlights thing. You use. It looked. What's that? Uh, why is there no skill nats this year? Because nobody has decided to. Because like Sorka is just a group of people that help organize things. A local club somewhere has to step up and say we want to host it, and no one did this year. It's a lot of work. It's so much work. The animals pronounce E on the end also. Huh? Why does everyone have to? Good night. The animal pronounced Maj E on the end. Major. That's that's debatable. Oh yeah, no, that's Iowa. That's him. Major. Major. Yeah, that's Midwest. That's like Major? upper Midwest. Greetings from Bulgaria. Oh my goodness, greetings. Um. Okay. In there. You use an XT60 plug on your 652 battery? On my 650, what's where? Oh, tattoo. Oh, 650. Um, That's a I think two. It does. You're right. Um, my my 850s have XT60s, Moose Jaw. My smaller ones had XT30. Would and, you go Micro X2 or Holmes Callmaster B2? Um, Holmes Crawlmaster V2 or the HK Hobbies is the two that I would choose. What gear ratio I should I run on 12T? Fuck, I lost it. 550 tra Traxxas? In what? Dumb question. I see you putting two axles together, but are those for a new comp build? They're for the class one truck. Yeah, I was going to say that and just never. never Carrots? I'm guessing you've seen the work in progress chassis that Brazen Scale's doing. Yeah, I he was uh, just here. I already see what I shared some uh, my chassis data from the reversed one that I did, so he could uh, speed up his process. Dude, I appreciate when you repost my stories on IG, even if my chair isn't as pimp as yours. <laughs> so my son did something, cut his hair short, and then bleached it. Of Jesus, he looks like Eminem. Oh, Dale, <laughs> I've seen that coming back. Everything's coming back. From Chechnya. Chechnya? No, Chech. Chech. Yeah. Wrench till now, a few hours of sleep. Next, and then my first comp. Wish me luck. Duh, con Amazing. Congratulations. Good luck. Good luck. But why? That doesn't need to come back. I agree. I don't think the bleaching of the hair at home ever needs to come back. But it does. Everything's coming back. Uggs are coming back. Yeah. and I am definitely going to be working on my first class two rig for East Coast Championships next week. Nice. Our, I don't even know what ramen hair is. <laughs> that was Justin Timberlake's hair, remember? It was curly and bleached. Oh, that was terrible. Looked like, yeah, looked that's, like ramen a, noodles. that's specific. That's just a specific type of hair. Is the Artful Dodgers V2 chassis a good swap for the Phoenix? Uh, I've not tried it. Yeah, Perry, you're right. A lot of feather. Is there vomit on his sweater already from Mom's Spaghetti? <laughs> <sighs> Nothing should come back. All these styles going back are just slowing down the cyberpunk future. <laughs> is that an Alex? Post? Yes. It is? 
Like, yeah. Uggs and tights. Man, that was what, when I was in college, that was the thing to wear. Hi from Spain. Hola. Thanks oh. for the scale news all week. No problem. Hola, Manuel. Como vas? Que mas? What's a good will base for class one? I thought about changing my class one from 10.5 to 11.5. What do you recommend? Uh, I think that mine will be closer to uh, closer to 12 inches. Oh my God, Diana Hernandez. First, thank you for the donation. And second, tell my husband, David, no more frosted tips. David, no more frosted tips. We don't do that anymore, honey. I will, I'll second that. We don't do that anymore. No. You're grown, you don't do, do that. Unless, you know what? If he's maintained them yeah. this long, then right? you but can't Right, but they might be not. young. Look, she's hot, they might be young. It might I'm, be a new thing. It, I don't know, no. but David, stop that. And uh, th Yeah, he, if he's 40 or 20 and ha Say bye, bye, bye to those. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> RC Addict. <laughs> oh man, I threatened my wife the other day. If she pissed me off, I was gonna frost my tips and get a puka shell necklace. That would be on you, Dale. <laughs> um, yeah, Guy Fieri. Joker 510714, thank you for the donation. V2 Artful Dodgers chassis is a great direct spot for Phoenix. As a user myself, own three kits. Phoenix body doesn't like uh, line up the best with sliders. Ah, I could see that. Um, ran in my second comp last weekend, got fourth in class 2.5 and second in class 2 with a Wraith no less, but I'm having an absolute blast and I'm hooked. Com Amazing. Com Excuse me. Competing is addictive. But we're so glad you're part of it. Yes. RC with Robbie brought, bought my first Vanquish tool today. Got the scale hardware drivers. Do I have scale hardware? Nope, but I have the tools. They're nice though, aren't they? Spin around like a fidget toy. We, lo we love you, Robbie. Bring back the Lloyd Christmas bowl cut. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Okay, our rat tails back, Brian. I'm not gonna lie. What? I feel like I've, I'm seeing more and more rat tails. You're definitely seeing a lot of mullets. Well, yeah, a lot of mullets. Yeah. So, you know. Mm. Yeah. Why is you printmaking? I've seen so many trends being on a college campus since 92. I can only imagine. Oh, man. I watched a wedding episode of How I Met Your Mother. The frosted tips made him shave his head. I, Mr. Cataract, I'm going to tell you this right now. Mullets are not always in style. <laughs> they're not in style now. You can't say that. They are, but man, they're not cute. What ESCM receiver should I get from Fear Tech since everyone says it's the best? You must have a 124. Only if you have the 124 scale stuff. Their 10 scale stuff is no bueno. Um, but beyond that, uh, I have only ran their ESCs and I did like the Bluetooth connectivity stuff. Um, but I have not ran their motors, so I don't know. Um, T ham that those are fighting words in here. What'd he say? <laughs> Long go tea beards. Long go what? Go tea beards. <laughs> this is, those are fighting words in this chat. <laughs> Molts are always in style, but not stylish. Thank you. Oh, my wife is perming my nephew's hair. Oh God. That's my, I, the perm. I dread that. It's bad. I can't believe how can't. popular it is. I'm so glad I'm not in the, um, like it, the salon anymore because I used to cheat on all my perms because it sucked rolling them. Um. Why? Um, because you have to put up a section, then you have to put two papers, and you have to spray it, and then you have to roll it, and then you have to set it, and then you have to go back and squip, da -da -da, and then you have to let it set and put cotton. Oh, it's a nightmare. Anyway. Hmm. That sound, yeah. I figured it would just be the smell. Oh, no, it smells are whatever. I've... I recently heard a mustache referred to as a womb broom, and I have yet to stop laughing. <laughs> Sam did three perms at school this week. Oh, God. Yeah. Perry G, I like your style. Josh could not ro rock a mohawk. Josh, where's your shirt from? Elizabeth Cruz would like to know. From 
Oh, Elizabeth. I was like, hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> My baby boy must be in yeah. bed. <laughs> Uh, Boulevard Brewing from Kansas City, as you can see. Did she get it for you? Is it? I don't know. Was this, I don't think this was the one that she got. I thought this one was Marjorie. Yeah, CA glue on my on my customers' perms. But is I can't remember. Or you told me the wrong person got it to me. It could be your fault. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think they got I you know, though. I'm just saying. Hi, Emmett's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see him tonight. My buddy, he was wild and didn't have time for me because mom talked to him before. Oh, mm -hmm. he was ready to go. He was wound up. Oh no, you got a heart KC shirt. Yes. You try hustle. Okay. Mullet or nothing. Has anyone tried electrical tape yet? No, but we have talked about it a few times. <laughs> um. <laughs> Licking tape. <laughs> I'm C. Patina guy. Thank you for the donation. Hello, Josh and Nicole. Happy What's Friday. Happening? It's cold and there's mountaintop snow in San Jose. That is wild. Yeah, that is wild. I mean, not like he's saying mountaintop snow. It's like you can see the snow, and where you're at, it's kind of cold. So that's that's to us is cold, and I'm full. I fully agree. What? That was my stance earlier. Can sick biker buy Vanquish products in Australia? Yeah, and look gasket. One ten crawlers. Out of Australia, the Gillums, uh, Stuart and Stuart, I believe, is the proprietor of that shop. Um, Camo's brother. Oh, they have a store down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you seen Team Corrales new release yet? I saw the video from or pop up from uh, RC Driver, but I have not watched it. It was a buggy, right? That's or Rib a basher. Aluminum. Wait, where did you see that? RC Patina guy, that's... Is it scribed? Aluminum work is really sick. You're not listening. I got 18 yeah. inches of snow here in Salt Lake City on Wednesday. That storm can F right off. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of the guys from uh, DDM had sent me some photos. He's like, if you want snow, come get it. Like, I'll pass. Yeah. Mm, thanks, no thanks. Mm -mm. By direct, mine derived in four days. Go figure, Rap Graphics said. Yep, that as well. I have to go as I have to be somewhere at 7 a.m. and it's 2.55 a.m. Go to bed in the UK. Thanks for joining, though. Yeah. Thought you said you didn't have grass to conference. Non-rotating mass, non-rotating mass, but I use, I had, we, not a, what did I have on there last time? Um, Even that's going to be a hard body, all that, it's going to need a little something. Rubber Ridiculous says, Josh, are you going to make the SCX10 Pro slider files available for purchase? I've got a creep tab I'm itching to get mounted up. Yeah, I can. I just, I'm concerned that they won't be like... Absolutely super rigid, but I guess if I'm selling to somebody who has a 3D printer and something happens, you can print another set. So, I yeah, I probably can. I just want to. I haven't ran them myself, I've only put them on, and always makes me a little concerned. That you know, what makes me equally concerned is that I have a bearing left over. I'm excited to see what you guys think of Cocaine Bear. Because Elizabeth Banks right directed it, and I love her, so. I love I, how Nicole's water bottle legit looks like she's swigging shots of vodka straight from the bottle. I drink so much water on a daily basis that I have to have these big ones, like the big bottles, or else I will fill it up 20 times. And it's just like, people buy me reusable water bottles, like, I refill my plastic ones. I know. I recycle them. I'm a terrible person. I just had Josh, I just made Josh promise to do a natural um, cremation on me so that can maybe when I die, so that can like take away from my carbon footprint that I use with all the water bottles. Does that work? Yeah, I'll definitely do that. I want it to be the most eco-friendly way possible. <laughs> 
Rap Graphics, thank you for the donation. My favorite You Fools channel couple speed. <laughs> well, in my honest opinion, Nicole makes the broadcast better. Thank you. <laughs> I think Matt does a pretty good job. <laughs> Art will re report on Cocaine Bear in Wednesday Night Stream. I'm excited for natural cremation. I guess it's water cremation. You can be cremated by water. They just boil you. <laughs> it's like chicken noodle soup. Bone broth. Uh, That's where your bone broth comes yeah. from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just trying to leave the world a better place than when I found it, okay? Ooh, turn yourself into a tree with a bunch of your friends. We'll haunt all haunt a forest in the afterlife. <laughs> She's like, you can do it, or you can compost and turn it into a garden. I'm like, I would kill a garden. Then what? Huzzah, three is here. Huzzah. Get that woman out of California now. She's been tainted already. Hey, I just want, I just want everyone, I want my nephew and my nephew's kids and my niece's kids to be able to enjoy our seeing outside as well. I have seen that you can be compressed into a diamond. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, Libby said that. Yeah. You guys can do that too. I don't care. I honestly don't really care. And then what? What happens? I'm when small. It? Add my smoke to my carbon footprint. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's called aquamation. I knew somebody in here would know. Aquamation. A friend of mine wants to be cremated in her ashes to put an etch a sketch. I love that. I sold a guy some equipment that does it for pets, and he takes a nutrient which will rich water and stuff for plants. I mean, I'm not going that far, but like, <laughs> that's awesome though that he does that. <laughs> I learn when it's Josh by himself, but I laugh when you two are together. Yeah, you're definitely learning. <laughs> nope. Um, Matt is Josh's husband. Yes, he is. Ridiculous. Artist Barton Ben Benes were gifted people's ashes to be used in his artwork that live on in museums all over the world. That's beautiful. I want my body to be shot out of a cannon. My uncle had his ashes packed into a shotgun shell and shot over a farm. That's fun. I don't know why I look at everything so much differently. Like, you want to put into this and all that. I'm like, what? I'm like, I don't want to be other people going places. And like, if you told me, like, hey, do you know there's a bunch of dead guys scraped across that canvas? I'd be like, why do, why do I? No. Fish built will be cremated, put in race fuel, and ran up Pike's Peak. There you go. I'm like, you know what? You can do whatever with me because I'm dead. I don't really care. So yeah. Whatever is the cheapest. <laughs> do it the most eco-friendly way and then just pay a bunch of dickhead teenagers to go do burnouts everywhere. <laughs> like, just out of like the, <laughs> like, haha, I got you good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I can't unblock that. Do not unblock that, but that is hilarious. That's literally the funniest thing I've ever read. <laughs> You're right, you can't un... Sorry, guys, but... Gerald? <laughs> You're hilarious. It was something about eating chili again, so his wife could... <laughs> yeah. It's dope. But Disney has major... Issues with people trying to spread out through the yeah yeah I've heard that I've heard that they have uh they try and target it with some of the machine learning stuff to try and find when people are trying to do that. Um, look, okay. took a married couple's ashes, placed them together in a large Swiss crafted wooden hourglass. You want to be in it? Oh. Yeah. No, because someone is eventually going to break it. Okay. And then what? You gotta be like, you gotta get a you special, live in the vacuum cleaner. you get a special <laughs> dust buster. You or... live in the, then I live in the, I live in the Roomba. I don't need to put anybody's. I don't care. I don't need to put I that on anybody care. else's conscience. <laughs> like, oh, don't break this thing. I, my. Uh, the, Paul says, thank you for the donation. Having to unpack and find a home for all of my RC sh things is making me super stressed. Good thing I have whiskey. Yes. Okay. Good luck. Damn Disney adults, let me tell you. Yeah. You know what? Nicole, have your ass spread under your favorite bench. 
<laughs> yeah, at YSU printmaking, I am right there with you on this being painted into a canvas. I think it's beautiful. My husband is a I'm not, I'm, cape man. Yeah, I don't. I don't appreciate art like sophisticated <laughs> people. I want my body launched on the front lawn while on fire. Nothing political, just to leave my mark. <laughs> I will donate my. I'll probably actually donate my body to science. Why not? <laughs> At um, one point in the cremation process, the meat is perfectly done. You know what? <laughs> right. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Try pa Patron and Red Bull. Oh, yeah. I thought no. Was... No. No tequila. Ooh, yes. Wouldn't it be cool to be eaten? Probably. I will donate my body for a full recreation of Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> I will probably be, like, carried down the whatever whatever they carry with, like, RC cars. That would be Josh's final, like, F you to me. Like, <laughs> he's going to bury me with his ripper. <laughs> and be like, here you go, bitch. <laughs> like. <laughs> now. <laughs> Just when it's. it's Ooh, gonna I could have you. Pressed into carbon fiber. Ooh, I just want it slowly turning though in there. I want the batter, a huge battery, and it just slowly in there going. <laughs> just, just that constant sound. <laughs> I'm gonna put a solar panel on your tombstone with a wire down to it. <laughs> Here lies Matt Ripper and the lady I spent my life with. <laughs> and that one lady, says Matt. <laughs> My husband is a caveman. Wouldn't it be cool to be eaten? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt is here. Where's my... What about being propped up? Yeah, honestly, I sing that. He gets so mad at me whenever that song starts because he thinks it's going to be sad. And then he he doesn't realize what it is what it is and ever. Because it's like, it starts out... It's that one that starts out really sad and it's like... And then they prop me up beside the jukebox when I die. Prop me up yeah, but it like starts. Yeah. the jukebox when I die. You think Ripper, but he will bury. No, because I would love to be buried with the trike. Matt, here's the front fender and hood. Oh, P.S. The molds for this are good. So if you want to start printing, Joe Diffie, you can. thank you, Adam. Love Joe Diffie. I have his greatest hits. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> I don't know how you can think you're politically sensitive and own that. Joe Diffie? He's... Oh, wait. Am I thinking of somebody no, else? No, you're thinking of someone else, too. David Allen Yeah, that's... I have his. Yeah. I don't tell people I have his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Yeah, R.I.P., man. COVID got him. Yep. Yeah, flex seal me. <laughs> My goal is to get my cholesterol so high I can be used as a dime store Indian. Co ooh, what is it? Collagen. <laughs> what? Collagen? Yeah. Really? Her song about a dime store Indian? That's what he's talking about? No idea. Hank Sr. Well, Hank Jr. did a remake of it and it was fantastic as well. William? Yeah. Hank Okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you. Hey, Dominic Salzi. Hey, Josh and Nicole. I just got an SDX24. I'm putting a Dukes of Hazard model body on it. Had to shorten the wheelbase and make some new links. Awesome collage project. College yep. project. College project? Right, yeah. One or the other. Jason, I'm just, I'm glad that you know that song. <laughs> oh, Mummification's making a comeback. For to be buried together, that's gonna suck for who lives longer. I know they're gonna miss each other so much. Mm -hmm. Josh needs a cam tech with flex steel sponsorship. <laughs> this hex pin is giving me problems. Collage, okay. Uh, mummification's basically jerky. Gunner can help. True. Oh. Junior's what? playing at Ironside Amphitheaters in July. Um, Thomas. Okay. What did you say? I missed it. Now I got propped me up beside the jukebox stuck in my head. 
Taxidermy Josh in a comp stance with his river. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Josh is uncultured. Kalash is a good song. <laughs> when it's when it's referencing music. What's yeah. up, guys? I just picked up the new Orlando Hunter SCT waiting on mail. Any tips for the kit? Uh, <laughs> my tips for the Orlando Hunter is to punt it across the room. Well, you're, set you it know on what? fire. He just got it. And Nick's hobbies. Do you enjoy your little you Orlando? Set it on fire. Orlando is that what it is? Save yourself the headache Why of the tiny finger pains. Why are you eating a butt? <sighs> Those damn things. Yeah, Josh doesn't understand music or movies. Oh my god. Movies, I do so. Buck Dandy. Buck Custom Dandy. He changes his name more than anybody. Buck Dandy is my favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Buck Dandy. Josh doesn't understand music or movies or TV shows that aren't that. Sorry to read that. But I was so afraid. We went to this drinking with day drinking with magicians thing, and the first magician asked everyone their favorite movie, and I was terrified that my husband was gonna be involved in this and say rubber, and then have to explain it to a room full of drunk people. And what the only other person in the world who would have agreed with me was standing next to me as well, and we were both just like. Say Robert. <laughs> I was like, if he said. <laughs> and uh, Alex agrees. Rubber is a great movie. Um, custom is my middle name. Not flying cars. Nope. Rubber is better than flying yeah, cars. Yeah, Rubber is a movie about the tire that kills people. Like, better as in better at being the worst movie ever. It's amazing. Um, if you ever wondered why his face is red, poor Kalijah, that poor old wooden head. Just wanted a kiss from his Indian maid. She was across the hall. <laughs> what? Is this really the lyrics to this song? Don't see Rubber if you need to. Absolutely. Watch Ru Rubber, I believe, is on Netflix still. Tuna No Crest 96 doing a VS410 Phoenix F10 kit right now. <laughs> Fuck Danny, you might be their favorite person, but they love SEO. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just kidding. You think F10s would be a good match for a high low chassis? Yeah. It is a love song. It's a love song. <laughs> My friend, afternoon golf. Thank you to Pirate Mad Jack for chiming in. Afternoon golf. I like that. We see a lot of afternoon golfers with the Frisbee golf. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they're California golf. They're California golfing, you know. I think that's pretty much universal. I think so as well. Yeah. <laughs> The best movie ever is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Great movie. I love that movie. My wife thought Flying Cars was okay except the ending. I don't even remember the ending because I, like, mentally blocked it out, I think. Trauma? Yeah. I have PTSD from that. And Eric Baker is always like, I brought my projector, Nicole. <laughs> At every event, he's just waiting. He's just, like, waiting to get an evening of where I ha where I stay and don't have an Airbnb that I can go back to. He's like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> uh, MX304, yes. Do you know if anyone has done a rear setup on a VS410 kit? A rear setup. What's a rear setup? Is that all it says? Do you know if anyone has done rear steer setup on what a VS410? You just said rear setup. Um... I did get I mean, a fancy chair tonight because it's more comfortable. The I did rear steer on my class three last year with F10 portals, but I had to. I built a custom rear axle using um, <laughs> some front. If you go back to the last year's Road to the Scale Nationals, you'll see it was not a bolt together type situation. I made a custom truss with a steering mount and. Oh darn! Rubber's not on Netflix or Hulu. What? 
No, it, it's definitely an indie. I don't think they're paying for the rights to that. It was. A cow turd. We're buying it on Amazon. You know you live in, no. Small town in the Midwest when you're standing in line at the post office and you realize the person in front of you is setting up taxidermy of their deer with the postal worker. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's on Amazon Prime. There we go. What? Alex is obsessed with Nicolas Cage. I love Nicolas Go Cage home, Alex. too, Alex. You're drunk. Nicolas Cage movies Baker are Bill, amazing. Don't. Like, just don't. Trust me and just don't watch it. Like, it is... It's so... Forever is so bad. The whole thing, it's just like... Like, the opening scene... Like, when is this, when is is, this movie going to start? It's so... Because the opening scene is just, just this car driving down the road. And there's just, like, things in the road. Like, chairs and stuff. And it's just trying to... <laughs> and he gets out and he just, like, pours a glass of water. There's no reason. No reason. And like, that's the whole, it's like. They live. No reason. There's just people there that are like watching from the side. It's amazing. <laughs> we stupid. You can literally see people like pushing it from behind. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You can like tell when they're like, okay. When I, a, you can literally tell. It's a like psychotic telepathic tire that kills people. And they're like, oh, 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 cut it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a really weird tire. Like the bead of the tire is super odd. That's that's what you remember. Yeah, will okay. you roll the, scroll this one all the way down? No, you don't need to read. Newest Nick Cage movie is funny AF when he's tripping on shrimp. What? <laughs> How uh, close do you think a Capra 4 WS rear axle is to a F10 portal? Uh, it's significantly wider. She you, just you, pushed a very sought after purple. V. I know. I heard that these were, these are going to be on the eBay tonight. Well, we don't use eBay anymore. But yeah. Oh, we should tell the eBay story. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Br um, Brian Sherwood was asking about it. In so, Alabama. for those of you that don't know, live stream on Wednesdays, Matt and I sold a bunch of stuff on eBay, right? Anyway, one of them was called What Let This Might Make a Truck, right? And it sold for like 800 and some odd dollars. And I was super uncomfortable with it because I felt like it was, it went for more value than I was comfortable with. Yeah, so I, know. I threw a bunch of extra stuff in there just so that this story stands on its own. Tim Hunsker, yes. I like to give the background. Anyway, uh, the package was sent FedEx. It showed delivered. And then eBay got a credit card claim against it saying that the original purchaser or that the purchase was not recognized on that credit card. So it was outside of eBay. Someone claimed on their credit card that they didn't make that purchase. So the place that it went to is supposedly not the person who actually had to pay for it on a credit. Anyway, so there was nothing I could do beyond that. eBay took the money back from me and the truck was gone. There's nothing you can do at that point. It's just the way that there is. However, on Wednesday, I got a uh, I got a message or an email after our live stream. Someone said that they had, oh, I guess a little bit more. Before the original purchase of the, everything went through on the purchase of the kit or of the truck on eBay, uh, a lady had been messaging me about the truck and this, you know, some questions on it. Hey, could you finish building it on the stream? Um, so obviously somebody who watched and who knows about this. And she said that she was buying it for her husband and that she hopes he likes it. Yada, yada, yada. And her name on eBay was Molly Hazels. That's, that was the eBay username. And that is the person who won, who won the auction. So, uh, when it, when the auction is won, it sends me the address and the place it says that I have to send it to is in Santa Clara, which is not far from here because the person who had contacted me, it even asked, Hey, can I have this local pickup? And then before I even saw that message, they're like, "Never mind, just ship it. Fine. So it shipped to Santa Clara to a place, uh, address that was called vantage point, I believe. Some kind of photographer, some type of, I think it's photography based. Anyway, I shipped FedEx, it arrived, yeah, and then the whole credit card claim thing came into play. So that was in January sometime. 
Anyway, Wednesday night after the stream, I get a message uh, from someone watching the stream. I didn't see the text during the chat or the chat during the stream, but evidently they had said that they thought that they maybe had found my missing truck. And uh, the, they sent me a bunch of photos. They said that they bought it at a pawn shop in San Jose, which is not far from Santa Clara. Sent me a bunch of photos and it was, it was the truck. It was completed because it didn't ship completed because it was a bunch of parts. Oh, they, comp oh. they completed the truck. They did some like cover up of a few things. Uh, you know, they put like some stickers over the trim of the axial honcho body and then they covered up some stuff on the back with like some Traxxas Valinian stickers. Um, was that the one with all the Traxxas stickers? Yeah, Marcos, uh, did you see it somewhere as well? Anyway, um, it, was, it was put together and it was basically all the parts that were included. Um, and, and how did you know about it, Lacos, by the way? Um, it, he knows all. <laughs> yeah. It uh, was, he said, yeah, it was that one. Um, so, they sent me photos. They said that they purchased it for two seventy five. Um, they're like, hey, I'll, I'll just send it back to you. You don't need to, because I was just like, I don't know that, like, I don't even want it back for that real, like. Don't want someone else to have to pay for it and then. Send yeah, it. I said I was like, I don't like. I hate already that someone was able to take it from me, sell it to a pawn shop for. $50, whatever it was. And then the pawn shop gets to make money. So two other people, two other people made money. And then this person bought it from them. And then it's, I was like, man, I like feel bad about, I feel set, yeah. the whole thing. Like there hasn't been a good part of this entire story. Like I felt bad already because I, I felt like, like it was sold for too much money. So I threw in a bunch of extra stuff worth several hundred dollars extra. Yeah. And then someone else has to buy it and then they're like, I'll just send it to you. And I'm like, so now someone else. Yeah, has, like you keep it. Enjoy I'm just like, it. just like I'd rather. <laughs> and it's just like every part about it. And I, I team effort who, yeah, you guys recognize the name who was saying that they found it. Um, team effort was the one who, who found it and uh, we well, don't know who her husband is. I don't know anything about the people or anything. Maybe uh, you guys do. And I was just like, okay. Uh, so. Yeah, eBay is not. the So Team Effort said that they were shipping it this way. And I'm just like, I was just I, in the emails back and forth with them. They sent me photos. And uh, <laughs> I'm just like, I, like I super, I, was, I had said in there, like, I don't want to, I, I don't want to seem ungrateful. It's just this whole situation. Yeah. May, like, I just feel, I felt like crap about the situation from the start of it to this point. Like yeah. every single part of this has only made me feel bad about everything that happened. Yeah. So I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> like I really... I really hate everything about I this. I know, <laughs> but hopefully, you know, if team effort, you know, that's yeah. amazing so, and we'll play. I, yeah, I, and it's just like, and they said that they... Aren't pawn shops supposed to keep records for this kind of stuff to track? Yeah. Yeah, I, Make I no it idea. your class two rig and beat little boys with it. Oh, man, I just... You know, it was supposed to be like a kind of Fine, like a joke right and like a funny deal. And you I'm know, just, you know, it sucks, but. So anyway. Yeah, I. Uh, so we'll see when it makes it back and all that. And I'm just like. It will just build it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Send it back. <laughs> like, <laughs> like here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the I, you know, I got photos of the truck and it looks other than it, the fact that it's assembled, uh, it looks like all the stuff that I've seen or that I sent. Other than the fact that, you know, the extra truck that I sent with it 
is not there. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's just, it's a bummer. Yeah. But it's nice to know we have people looking out. Yeah. I, you know, oh, we love, what's we up? love you guys. Hello, hello. Hope you both doing well. To many people like to scam good people. That's crazy. I yeah. need to make a lipo tray to fit inside the Mojave cab. Thank you for your donation, Blind Guy RC. I hope that baby and wife are doing well. It's going to be flex sealed. Honest, like, <laughs> I would rather it come back absolutely, no. like, crazy destroy. Like, and it would be then content to at least somehow pivot. <laughs> Here we go. It's cursed and it's mad. We'll just build it and send it to Traxxas. Yeah, let them sell it or <laughs> someone else can sell yeah. it again. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? Name's Calvin Daughter, graduating in June from South Dakota School of Mines and Engineering. Oh, so proud. Nice. Love what, it. What degree? <laughs> Jacob Henson, I love you. What is that? I'm sure they're watching right now. Say hi, sorry efforts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Good pivot. I, <laughs> How tall are these VXT2s? I love the Wild Peaks and had to get these. Right. VXT2s are 4.75 inch tall. They say right on the sidewall. Um, but mine's, wow, how exciting. Are you really mad, Josh? At least you are getting your stolen truck back. One up on Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you you know what, Meat Sleeve? I'm right there with you. Karma is a biatch, so. I know. I just. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so. 4.75. VX. <laughs> Twos are five point seven five tall. They're not. <laughs> you know there is a special place in hell. You, I feel sorry for them. Just watch the flying car trailer. Considering buying it now, you know what? Just give me. I think I forgot to put grease on these gears. Thomas, exactly. What's that? Cool. No mom tonight. Can use the TV. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's always my favorite. I know it is. It is pretty <laughs> funny. I actually tell people that I'm like some kid was on here and said that his mom hated my boy. And they're like, oh my God. I'm like, no, I think it's hilarious. I can get it. I was like, yeah. Nicole's mom says the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> if that's true, then x Mac tires are 4.75. How many RC vehicles is too many? Well, you only need one, but yes, you did forget the grease. I mean, right? You only need one. That's all you got to play with it one time. That Well, that I can give you so many situations. You forgot where... the grease on that side. The other side too? Did I really? No, no such thing as too many, so actually. Yeah, and I was going to say, I was like. What hell is a room with sticky, creaky, white wicker furniture? <laughs> That hell is a room. Oh my god. You know what? That's exactly it, Loco. Some people are just bad. Yep. No, on the second side. I didn't do it on the other side either? No, he just said the, the, the first side. Okay. I reread it. I was going to say, I was like, I've got, there's some residue. Does. Oh, Dominic's going for mechanical engineering now, so my hey. little brother does. I don't ever want Nicole to judge how much of anything I have. You probably don't. I, <laughs> she doesn't know how much stuff I I'm have. I'm a pretty minimalist human, so. Oh, yeah, Paul. How many can your space hold? That's how many you need. Yeah, well, that's how many you need. And then see if you can reorganize and fit some more. Thank you. Instead of buying flying cars, just slap yourself and donate $5 to a <laughs> children's charity. Thank you, Perry G. I'm right there. Slap yourself. I'm just, I think that you I will. love it. Ashley says, I'm married with two kids at home. I'll scoop up at least one every single weekend. Woman. <laughs> Telling you what. Can you explain the negative effects of rotational weight and why I shouldn't put weights in my wheels? Uh, so, yeah. There's a, there's a number of things. Rotational weight, it puts a lot of stress on your drivetrain. So, it 
is much harder for your drivetrain to get it spinning. So you lose throttle responsiveness, um, which throttle responsiveness can be extremely handy if you're going for technical terrain. Oftentimes it's uh, much better to be able to bump up something quickly. Also, if the tires are spinning and it, your vehicle comes to a spot, the, it might stop the vehicle, but the tires just have that rotational momentum already. And that oftentimes will break parts much easier. Would sending a copy of Flying Cars to a children's chair be, be considered abuse? Yes. <laughs> yes. You silly. <laughs> one, the, Jacob Henson, I love this. Okay, one more thing. Who sells an RC to a pawn shop? <laughs> Aren't there Ooh, lots of RCs? Lot, lots. But it's just funny that he was like yeah. still thinking about it. Biodome's free on YouTube. Oh, okay, I do love Biodome, Jason. You can't judge flying cars and love biodome everyone loves biodome everyone loves the movie biodome you you love biodome and flying cars so they're josh, equally stupid no so josh do you uh the at least biodome was based on a true story uh, yep we watched a documentary on that one brother that, that's yep. not exactly true it's based on a place that exists it's not no. based on a a thing that happened. Yeah, it is. Remember two, that whole cult thing that lived in that Two strangers biodome? did not sneak in well, to no, the sealed... That was th silly. That's the whole point of the movie. Oh, Coneheads is a good one. Coneheads was a good one. Thinking that it was based on a true story. Uh, Phoenix just said that it is. It's not a true story. Yeah, but there was like this science cult that was I know there. that, but it was by the two strangers who jumped in and then had a party in the middle of it and then had to save it by... That's not the true story, but the biodome. Will you relax? I know that a biodome exists. Yeah, rubber was based on a true story, oh, too. okay, about a telekinetic... <laughs> the Death. same level as Death. freaking biodome. Tire, and it wasn't even a, a tire, a real tire. Have you watched Drive, the new season of Drive to Survive? Nope, it just came out today. Whoop. I have watched most of F1 testing for this. My wife just bought me a great RTR Phoenix. Whoop, whoop. All right. Josh, you need to calm your tits. Calm your tits. What the hell did I just walk into? Welcome, Chris Maxwell. Oh, please, what's up? What's up, Suck? What's up, suck? Idiocracy, yes. We love idiocracy. I low-key want a gray RTR Phoenix. You should hike me want it. Ed Camino 79. Hi, guys. Got in late. And good to see my favorite Friday friends. Yeah, we did watch Teeth, actually, one time. Oh, teeth was a... <laughs> so you're saying no older guy that plays with RC cars is chased after a younger girl. They're child, usually. I'm... I mean, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> we don't. Okay. So, class one axles are... <laughs> Never low-key want things. Just want things. <laughs> Is an Asian hookah tent considered a biodome? I mean, if you don't clean it. Suki, what in the actual f*** are you doing to my new chair? You let her do it to your old chair. That's your fault. So, Josh, do you like using brass rings on your wheels? Or is it just too much weight? Define um. chased. <laughs> <laughs> and she's building axle right now. She has too many phoenixes. I mean, thank you, but <laughs> TRD uh. Adventures, thank you for the five dollars. Getting a tactical dad baby carrier for the TGH event. I'll get yes. them courses done one way or another. I mean, yes, that's a way to do it. So and then be like, here, baby, hold this. Portals on the Porsche. Portals on the Porsche. That is correct. I'm going with three tens, I think, for wheels on there. I did have this set of purples for it, but I'm just like, I think that the three tens are the proper look for a Porsche. So I think that that's... Are they really going away? Three tens? Um, three tens are limited. Yeah. You, they, I'm not saying that they won't come back maybe someday, but... Um, but yeah, you're, you're, they are in stock right now. You can pick any color you want, but uh, they won't be made again, at least for a while. 
<laughs> I'm gonna give you a number, Nicole, you cut me off. <laughs> I've tried that. Oh, the ba the SCX-62 wagon is my favorite. Eric, they pull the baby around in the yes. SCX-6 wagon and it's my favorite. The Roswells would look killer. Yeah, but the I need the, is I want the vanquish pattern. This Porsche based on a true story. <laughs> this it was totally. 70s movie Convoy, Rubber Ducky. That's based 70s. You're going with Convoy. Convoy. Best. We got a big old Convoy. <laughs> yeah, I know the song. I'm not saying that that makes it a good movie though. Or the best 70s movie, I should say. Like, I ordered a Wheel of Fortune Phoenix kit. Can you also send me a three tens? <laughs> That's not how this works. Trying to lock the rear end on my Yeti XL with no commercially available lockers. Any suggestions other than JB Weld? JB Weld's the the way that most people do. Um, and with that size of a vehicle, you need something pretty stout. He said it was worth a try. So when are uh, Vanquish Two Two Machetes coming back? Um, next week. Next week. Here comes to six hundred dollar three tens. Yep. I guess I need to buy a bunch of three tens. I don't know what they are. What you're talking well, about? There you go. Now you guys know. You have insider trading. Yeah. Buy them up. You take on the Proline cliffhanger tees. Uh, single cab cliffhanger. You can see the back of it. There's no extra cab. So possibly cab only that was matt's guess in our mod chat i was like that's probably a pretty good idea only a single cab and i'm i think that matt's probably correct with the cab only idea you heard it here folks uh indy bama thanks for a donation friend you should send me those purple wheels josh i need it set for an upcoming build help me out nicole <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna take these to an event and put them in and just I'll just bit them off cash at the event. <laughs> Be like, no, you won't. Hey guys, look what I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chris Maxwell, thanks for the donation. Where did you guys get a place in Colorado? Want to find a hotel within drunken staggery distance so I can see the Cam Tech races in person? I don't know that there is going to be. Is there places still at the resort? Uh, no. Ben got a. We got our Airbnb. Airbnb somewhere, but I did not look. <laughs> I just let him. T I trust Ben and Nancy's decision making. Yeah. And I was like, sure, where do I send money? Scale Crawler Fab Shop gets us to the events. <laughs> yeah. they, they take they care are of our everybody. travel agents for events. So you can thank them for us being there. <laughs> Magic School Trucks, thank you for the donation. The builders came with aluminum or molded bearing plate? The what? The builders? Say that again? Yeah. The uh, builders came with aluminum or molded bearing plate? Molded. The builder's kits, I assume you're talking about from Black Friday? Yeah, those were molded bearing retainers. You can pick up the 30 tooth bearing plates if you want to go to the machined ones. Okay. There you go. So not the triple cliffhanger. <laughs> Which mod was that? It had to be one of the mods. What? One of the, which one of the mods? Video. Mo okay, video. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, like those. Guys, I was just like, what in the world are they talking about? Oh, the cam tech races is not something the events doing. That's that thing you you got that dumb dumb that we just sat and giggled. Oh my god, Nancy and I laughed so hard when you guys were doing that. <laughs> oh god, was, she, Nancy looked at me and we had been maybe drinking all day, and she was like, when you pictured your life. 15 years ago did you ever think that you would be sitting here in this backyard watching these grown men run these things around us <laughs> and i was like i did not honey i did not <laughs> yeah 13 by oh my on oh my wall space for a 13 by 19 wait wait, 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 wait. probably what's that do we have wall space for 13 by 19 that's terrifying <laughs> I mean, not in here. Yes. yes. Right there, I do. Living the dream, Nicole. Yeah. I am. I am. 
I found a place in Red Feather, Nicole, but it sounds like everyone's staying in Fort no, Collins. Yeah, we're down. So we needed to be down the hill so that we had reliable high-speed internet. So oh, that, the boys have to post their stuff for you guys. Yeah. So if I'm going to be able to do video uploads, I need good internet. So yeah, we are in Fort Collins somewhere. It's about all I know. You didn't think it, but you dreamed it. <laughs> they whispered to each other and said, but they like literally, they were all like, best day ever. <laughs> I mean, what size shocks for a TRX4? <sighs> I think they're like they're 90 to 94 millimeters, something like that, somewhere in that range. Is that Proline T's a newer generation of not Toyota? Kind of, yeah. The same, same cliff, same, same. So we should unplug the router and hide it. But Mike J, then you wouldn't be able to see what's going on. It's okay. God damn it. Josh, why don't you just clean your I body? I know. They want to get... No, ma'am. No, that... no, it's dirty. It's dirty. There. Right. So, gold three t or, uh, gold IFR, gold scale hardware. Ish. Alex says I have a rack. Uh, he he's talking about server or computer equipment. Oh, like, cool, good for you. Alex is Alex is nerding out over here. <laughs> So I live in Hawaii and about 10 SDX pros were shipped here, but only one made it and I was lucky number one. <laughs> <laughs> only one made it. Michael, what have I told you about yeppers? Did you say yeppers? Oh, no, that's a uh, office joke. Office joke. Obviously. <laughs> Are you going to stretch some 1.55 tires on those? Absolutely never. Have you guys heard of the musket ball? It's a... Yep. Less than 100 horsepower. Version uh, of Cannonball Run. Yep. Oh God, that right. that's like my whole. That's like basically so, my teenage years. So it was like flooring a Chrysler minivan. Yeah. <laughs> like that is just the Cannonball under 100 horsepower was just like. Yep. It, growing. It, less than 100 horsepower, and if you got if you yes do the Yaris. Oh, that would be miserable. So you're like using brass rings on your wheels for forward weight. So yeah, if not always, sometimes depends on the car. Um, and these are gold, not brass, by the way. So these are aluminum still. If you wondered why that I was doing here. Oh, Gunner, also not brass. Jerky. I want a Subaru Sandbar key van. Yes. Did you see that Kyosho just released a? Uh, oh, your Chrysler minivans had a floor to floor too. Lucky they did. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, YSC printmaking. Have a lovely weekend. And serious question. Could you do a how to pack your RC stuff for plane trips? Well, that's not a terrible idea. And yeah, yeah. we could. Yes. Because that is, it's like, if you've never done it before, it can be really... Um, nerve wracking. Yeah, nerve wracking. But like, obviously we do it all the time. I'll do it. And then when we go through, I'll make Nicole film me as I'm going through. And I won't. She'll get distracted halfway through is what she'll do. And she'll forget. Or she'll start talking to a TSA agent. Like, yo, focus. She said, Ashley Conley said that would be awesome. She's, Nicole Nicole gets distracted easily, especially by conversation. I know. I talk to everyone. Like, focus, yeah. focus. Yeah. <laughs> I knew they were gold. I was just wondering if you like brass. Oh, gotcha. Is all I was just making sure that that wasn't that wasn't a squirrel. Yeah, I know. Josh says that to me all the time. Nicole will be drooling over all the kick-ass benches at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look and see what the hell. <laughs> I have to look. Bench porn. Yeah. <laughs> and see if that's a thing. No one ever said anything um, about like... How do I? How do you what? Search the internet? <laughs> oh, they removed them. They removed their benches? Homeless people sleeping on them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. 
Dang. Now you're not going back to Chattanooga ever again? Bench queen. <laughs> <laughs> we say prawn, not porn pervert. <laughs> I would not click on any tiny links. <laughs> <laughs> Joker 510714. Five, Adam, that was really funny that he's mm -hmm. like drooling over the funny. Um, thank you for the donation. Could you show a wick comparison between tank versus 310? I bet I can. Can I do it easily? Bro. Let's see. Hench, please. <laughs> um, it's not. The Vanquish, oh, the mat? I guess it could be used with a mouse pad. Oh, god damn it, Chief. What do you do? Ah. What is it? Cheapy. Uh-uh. Come here, buddy. <laughs> he likes to jump up on the back of your legs. Hey, I just want to let you guys know that you're sitting on the cool one of the coolest benches ever. You know what? I'll let you know when I find it. I'll make sure Josh posts that shit on Instagram. Um, so Nicole, tell me about your dream bench. It's a couch. <laughs> so this one doesn't have a beadlock ring on it, so you have to add a hundred thou. Cover your face, would you? There you go. So, but the width overall, you're going to be looking at 200 thou of width difference. These are uh, 0.1 inches from inside a beadlock ring to the back edge of the bead seat or 1.2 inches outside to outside. These are 0.8 inches from bead seat to the face of that beadlock ring that's not there or one inch outside to outside. There you go. Red tank. Cheaper Sutherland. <laughs> Every time I watch you build clear rims, they look like white on the screen, and that makes me wish you made them in white. Yeah, I mean, I know what you mean. I I've had some I've had a set Cerakoted in white. But is that an advertisement piece on that tire? I think I sold Oh, yeah. What? Oh, interesting. So we, oh. we worked with Falcon when they were going to release this to the public, the full-size version of this, and we released our tire at the same time. Um, and we were, we went through, had all the manufacturing of this tire done so that it coincided with the release of their tire. So they sent these all to, they sent these to dealers and they wanted the insert in it just like their full-size tire insert that they sent. That's awesome. Um, and then they had many little stands done like that they give dealers as well. And they sent us some, some as well. So we got these little tire racks that just like the full size oh one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take that to an event. Yeah, that we have, that's where we got them. Pretty, and then we were just like, they made those for theirs. We're like, can we just put those in ours too? Are you fine with that? They're like, yeah, sweet. When are those gonna be back in stock? That is very cool. So, um, I think they're back in stock now. Am I wrong? I think they're in stock now. Good eye, Dawson. The four six fives are currently out of stock. Those will be. Rusty's does great work on coating. He can even put the Vanquish logo on them. Michael Kabitka, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. What's happening, Michael? I just put some of those on some CNC custom wheels. They seem like an easy company to work with. Josh, WTF, the outlet is not online. Where are all the blemish wheels gone? The, they are currently all sold. Oh. The pink ones that we put up last week sold very fast. They Those weren't blends, but they were just... Uh, Me rushes to buy four pair. <laughs> those were a happy accident. I think that's how they put that. Um, that was a matter of one of the girls writing the wrong thing on a P.O., and us getting a bunch of wheels back that were a color that we do not make. So we're like, cool. Let's just uh, make them a package, special package deal. Crap, my wife will be pissed. I'm paying full price. This will be a fun conversation. <laughs> you were supposed to let me know when there were more purple pink wheels. 
Alex says. <laughs> oh, sorry, Alex. I didn't remember that was a thing. BP going to make two two one oh fives again. Um, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Yes, you could make any color and they would sell. I was wanting to order those tires for my Jeep since I needed some quieters, but they only go down to 17s. Ah. Listen. Would there be pink wheels again for her for Sendero? Phil Sanchez's wife would like to know. Um, I don't know. Maybe. And we did those in October. So yeah, we usually do them for breast we cancer. We usually just do them for breast cancer. And then we, because that, we do donations to Susan G. Komen. So. What foams work with those four, six, five Falcons? Um, I think I've run in four, five crawler innovations with a tuning ring. Dang it. RC Journey, thank you. Hey, man, I just sent you a message on Instagram. I think someone stole your clipping your cage sign for $6 on Colts. <laughs> no surprise, man. It, when you said I'll check, but I doubt there's anything I can do about it. And why they're charging twice as much as what I sell it for? That's stupid. Pay $3. It's a big site. People search it. Yeah. When you said 310s will no longer be made, you were only talking about 22s, right? We never made them in 22s. We only make them in one nines. So two twos will also not be available because they never did become available. Good night, Phoenix. Thank you so much for being here. Like Phoenix. Gonna try to crawl my rig up the St. Louis Arch. What tires do you suggest? Uh, you know what? I'd spray something with uh, spray a set with some Super 77 and send them up. Would you get in trouble for that? Like, what are they gonna do? I mean, it's not like you're riding it, right? It like marks it up. I mean, it might, but you know, the honestly, the hard part would just be at the bottom. You just gotta get it up there a little ways, because that bottom part's pretty. The whole thing is pretty. No, it's an arch, so at the top it's flat. Whoa. Hi. Really? Are you upset? You need to play. Slick soaked in WD-40. <laughs> Sorry if you explained, but what are the IFR rings? I haven't seen anything that really explains what they're for. Uh, sure. Yeah, like what uh, do they do? I will show you here in a second. Um, pay up sucker, thank you for the donation. Wow, Josh actually pronounces Falcon Tires correct? Thank <laughs> God, thanks Josh, other YouTubers, and you know who you are are not bird tires. Oh, Falcon? Falcon tires? Oh, people call them Falcon. 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 And Falcon tires. Thank you for explaining. Fucking now the arch. God yeah. damn it. I get Yes, I know what I said. <laughs> I get it. But like, I'm just saying I've heard, whatever. <laughs> Dana said it definitely looks like your cage. No surprise. Yeah, people. Are... You know, the whole point of that that was that stuff was to try and pay for a very expensive three D scanner. Everyone and... go to Colts and report the cliffhanger page. Maybe we can get it taken down. Oh man. Yeah. You're kind to think to. To think that they'll do that. Yeah, you were very sweet. <laughs> Josh, you started to say Kyosho is making something new. Oh, uh, Kyosho. Someone was talking about the uh, little little baby key truck K truck thing, and they made a mini Z of it. Falcon wolves made. <laughs> <laughs> Parody always says something to say about my language and his tender sensibilities, but I have a feeling. <laughs> you have a feeling he's not being genuine. <laughs> <laughs> RC Journey's building a D12 drift truck. I do like the D12s. They're so much fun for how silly and inexpensive I see you, Gerald. I see you again. I, I see you. I'm waiting for that Optima Dirt Master or whatever it's called. Ah, Did yeah. Ambul ambulance correctly? Ambulance? Yeah. Amber Lamps. Amber Lamps. That's what I call an Amber Lamps. <laughs> That's my favorite. I watched that video so many times. <laughs> <sighs> nope. Nope, not gonna get me. <laughs> I want it. Darn it. Amber I I have watched that video, like, cause it's the song. Hey, the... Black Bay. Oh, hey, Black Bay. 
Did they make a... Yes. Oh, <laughs> ambulance. Yeah. James Calvin, STL Auto Care. Thank you for the donation. We appreciate STL it. STL Auto Care. What part of STL? Warsher. Warsher. I try not to say it. Do you, are you, you're not a Warsher one, are you? Yeah, sometimes. It slips? Like, it slips and then I try, I try and not. Kyosho key truck for the back of the WPL key truck. Key inception. Call it a key. Up, call it a key party. Call them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Say what now? You can um, trade them. <laughs> yes, yeah, Paul Warshrag. And that's like always says, "Will you turn on the dishwasher?" I'm like. <laughs> you should hear my fiance pronounce anything. Boston accents are the funniest. <laughs> Where's Paul? We have, where's Paul? <laughs> hey, do you know what portal axles will fit on an FMS one 1941 MB scaler? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't know that uh, that one very well. I don't know. I can't remember the size of that truck. James Calvin, I will say that we always just say um, Illinois can have y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know you say Kansas. Can have say us. STL is better than Kansas. But. <laughs> okay, there needs to be a tiny car show called Key Party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. IFR, sorry. Mm -hmm. Ever thought about getting out of the hobby? <laughs> Every fucking day. <laughs> no, other than that, no. <laughs> no. Like, what would we do? <laughs> I don't know what I would well, do. We'd, that's what we'd probably get. We'd probably fight a lot. I don't know, maybe. I mean, I would just have to build some. I would do exactly what I'm doing, but just with something different. It might be like something that I could act useful, like a home or like a car or something that we could like. So, cover your face. <laughs> Mini try. Cover your face hole. Um, you, for real though. Huh? Cover your face. So, this is, is the regular beadlock ring screws on the back side there it, it's fine cover your face uh on the back okay that's fine um on the back side you see those three indents those correspond with the three notches on these rings so the ifr ring the only purpose of it is to add style so you are able to line up the notches so that they sit flush with each other, but you get the extra style. And then you can get these in different colors and different styles, and it's it's literally just to change up the look. That's it. And I like it. Cover your face, something you can only say to someone you love and who loves you back. <laughs> are there purple ones? Um, no. There's not purple ones. Yeah. If Josh got out of RC, we, he would become a professional Power Wheels downhill dirt course racer. <laughs> um, I'm addicted to bubbly, but those pineapple ones are gross. But does Nicole make you drink that flavor? No, I just... This is coconut pineapple. <laughs> and it does taste a little bit like tanning lotion got on your water bottle. I just saw it. I was like, oh, I like that. I don't drink that crap. I drink tap water. I love pineapple. I love tap water. Pineapple things. This one, though, is and it's coconut pineapple. It's still Anyone good. here still run a Gen 7 with inner fenders? Wondering what body to put on it? Why would you go IFR when you can just get the larger rings you sell? The larger rings actually look like the real OGB block wheels. Um, just because it doesn't give you the same look, they don't. I do like wall water. They just don't look the same. You can't change up the color styles, things like that. I also don't like the larger rings in a lot of ways because of how the patterns don't necessarily line up perfectly with the face pattern. Um, and if there's like five or 10 holes on that versus six or 12 on the spoke of a wheel, I don't like when they're not properly set up. Um, so that's, I don't like. I don't like them nearly as much. You probably, you usually won't see me running them. What? Are other types of like larger rings. 
Oh, I got it now. What? He goes, no one got that. But now I got it because it's pineapple. Silly. You're silly. <laughs> I would totally watch a live stream, Friday live stream, that's just a camera pointed at cats. <laughs> <laughs> Dawson says he's been flipping the rings around so they're not flush with the outer ring. Anyone? Ohio has released a new brand of spicy tap water. Yes, it will kill your fish. Don't drink it. Uh, <laughs> that any of you that are in Ohio are doing okay? Yes, we do. Or in the surrounding areas even? Oh so. Just hear me out. Spiderweb IFR rings. <laughs> I mean... Sounds like a pain to machine, but I don't hate it. Why did they add coconut? I miss the original Robert California. <laughs> Deep cut. Anyone know where I can get five millimeter LED lights, red, white, amber with servo plugs? Oh, with servo plugs. Um, it's not that hard to make your own as far as like the little pigtail, little everything. It's a super easy soldering setup. You could knock it out. Um, pork chop RCN. I was out of the hobby for a while, but what happened to Viterra and why does everyone hate on them? Um, Viterra went away because Horizon bought Axial and Axial was a far superior product line in every single way. <gasps> um, Viterra didn't sell very well. Their products weren't very good in comparison. The Viterra Ascender is not a good truck. I apologize to any of you that happen to maybe have one and like it, but there was a lot of really bad design faults in that. Pretty much the he entire He wants accent. to know because he was out of the hobby for a minute. Indie so. Bama, thank you for the donation. I've got a set of red 105s with blue rings and clear Delta IFR. Really good looking setup. Got, um, oh, red, white, and blue. That's cute. Right. Got a set of orange 310. I need to get some blue rings and clear IFR. Yeah. You do have pineapple juice in there. No, I don't. Oh, did you buy it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um... Now hear me out. F flower IFR rings like those VW Beetle wheels. Yes or, and yes. Weren't they teddy bears? Did they have flowers too? They had both, didn't they? I remember that. They had the teddy bears and the flowers. Just purchased the holy rings. They are large on the wheel for sure. Cover up some of the design. Yeah, I don't like them. Nope. No, Mini Cooper had I, I... teddy bears. Come here. He is bossy. Oh, you have no idea. Teddy bear wheels from Ronald. Yeah, and they're worth crazy money now. Bad. I would love that. I mean, not really. I don't like teddy bears, but those custom five spoke Patrick Star wheels are hilarious too. <laughs> what is that? Maybe some crown IFRs? It, it looks like this. Like if it was just five spoke rather than six. And then they paint it like Patrick Star. So they paint it pink, but they put like the face on it. What's and the a Patrick Star? From SpongeBob? I don't. I don't know what that. Patrick Starr, he lives in Montana, dresses funny. That's Jeffrey Starr, and he lives in Wyoming. Wyoming, Montana. Only there. because I've seen his house. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, who, who drives a pink BMW in Casper? Like, what the f And they're like, oh, that's a, what's his face? <laughs> I'm glad you got it without me having to explain further, because otherwise it was going to get awkward. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nicole, you just ruined my childhood. You don't know Patrick? <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know SpongeBob. I never really watched it. Ooh, lives in a pineapple under the sea. What do you guys do with the kitties when you go to Colorado? We have a house sitter who lives here while we're gone. It's the easiest way for us to feel comfortable. <laughs> like, you know. But Josh's girls at work all have roommates, so. Yeah. <laughs> if you ask them if they would like to s stay in a house. <laughs> like, sure. Okay. Like, you'll pay me and yeah. I get to just be by myself? Like, yes. Yeah. Alex, you're welcome. Sure. Is it me or is the new SDX10 Pro's servo horn a different length than the two standard lengths? Uh, I don't know that. I just I didn't really compare Beavis and Butthead are way better than Spongebob Nicole would agree with you there I love Beavis and Butthead where do you see that oh it hadn't popped oh yeah they started making it again Beavis and Butthead yeah. 
I haven't all recorded the new season. I'm super excited. On tape or what? <laughs> on Hulu. Rude. Joker, 510714. Thanks for the donation. <laughs> 1.9 tank wheel purchase. After that comparison, thank you. Will you draw a stick figure in a box? <laughs> Nicole needs to use her imagination. <laughs> Fountain in the drive, house sitter isn't surprising. <laughs> right? I know we say things like we're fancy, but really we're not like fancy. <laughs> yeah, we have a teenager who stay at our house. Ren and Stimpy, enough said. Did lo love and my mom didn't let us watch it. I like But we did. Ren and Stimpy was one of those ones that like Stimpy, you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> it was one of those ones that like I was a little too young to get when it was like first came out. Mm -hmm. Cuz I like it came out and it was on what channel? Nickelodeon. Yeah, like that's what I thought. I was like this is not a Nickelodeon show, but it came with Powder Toast Man, right? <laughs> it was so outside of the norm of the shows. I was just like this isn't Rodrigo. funny like the rat. And then, but for adults, evidently. Have a good one. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> Have a good one. Time to skip sleep. <laughs> don't have a good day. Don't have a great Google day. Google the creator of Ren and Stimpy. You on that? Because now I need to know. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Chad knew the benches and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the benches of Chad. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, same illustrators, Ren and Stimpy and SpongeBob. What? Interesting. He's a bad man. Interesting. Oh, yeah, Big Bad. Big Bad? Yeah. Like on the list? Lots of them. Yep. Let's. Not saying goodnight, just saying. He bad man. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. You bloated sack of protoplasm. <laughs> uh, Josh and I do love Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Meat wad. Screw you guys. <laughs> I'm going home. Uh, yeah. I, I loved Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco. I watched Rocco a lot. Yeah. Now I have to Google it. It's basically probably what you think it is. It's exactly what you, it's like. If you, you think of like the bad thing and it's that. Yeah. Yup. Rocco's Modern Life is the best. Yeah, that was definitely, like. Doug. And, wait, wasn't Rocco's Modern Life, wasn't he, like, a phone sex operator, basically? Like, it was, there was a lot. Uh, it was implied, or, like, it was you, I didn't hidden know that, innuendo. There's a lot of it in that. Okay. What was the, yeah, there was, God, all those cartoons at that time were so weird. Yeah, Carl is the best part of Aqua Teen. Letter, Letter Kenny, anyone? I loved it. Wife hates it. Thank you for the donation. Joker. Um, I tried. We tried, but we did try Letter Kenny. Wasn't bad. No, I thought it was hilarious, but. We just didn't really get hooked. We did start watching the second season of Clarkson's Farm last night. Good. Pretty good. In all seriousness, watching your live streams and working on my projects on Friday nights the past four weeks is great. Hey. Or, Glad to have you. Rocco's Modern Life is on Netflix. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> I might have to watch that one. I know. Just to see, like, yeah. <laughs> the difference of how I remember it versus what it is now. I know. That's the big thing. The, uh, just how, how differently you remember. Like, wow, yeah, this was, this was dumb. This was real dumb. I don't think it was, though. I, I don't just get, what was the what was his cow friend's name? I don't remember. Pork chop? Wait, maybe it wasn't a cow then. Wait, I thought he was a cow. Why was he named? No, pork chop was his dog. Er, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or was that Doug? Yeah, the restaurant was the choky chicken heifer. Heifer. That makes more sense. His dog was pork chop. Okay. <laughs> Printing my Rock Pirate part in the SCX10 Pro bed. Thanks again for the file. Yeah, no problem. 
Cow and Chicken. Never seen it. Rocky and Bullwinkle. I definitely watched that. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, Woody Woodpecker. All of those. I watched those as well. Rocky or Rocco has the same voice actor as a Taco Bell. Huh. Is it talking about what? Doug's dog was pork chop. Ah, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the Carolina Ghost says, Rocco's is super full adult jokes and things. Like, you watch it now... And you constantly say, how did this get on TV? <laughs> okay, then we can definitely try it out. Spunky. Spunk. Or Spunko. Or Spunky, yeah. Spunky, yeah. Good yeah. night. That's funny. Which is... <laughs> that is funny. Freakazoid, I don't. It's something I probably called my brother. Rocco was... Yeah, that's what I thought. Rocco was a phone say. <laughs> the Angry Beavers. I remember that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Growing up, we had a pair of Rottweilers named Boris and Natasha. Oh, my God. I love that. Does anyone remember Mr. Meaty? Mr. Meaty? You a baby, Dawson. No. Nope. This guy's still on. <laughs> mm. All right. Oh, got a little bit of rubbing up there on the top with the 225s. Why? Why? Oh. Jesus, what did I do? I forgot to freaking put the rest of the screws. I only put two screws in the back of this wheel. I was like, why is it rubbing? The other one isn't. Because I got distracted. Oh, I ran out of screws is what I did. Lightweight build. Yeah, maybe you just forget to put it together. Cut out a lot of hot hardware. Awesome, Pfeffer. Aww. What's that? I had two rabbits as a kid. One was Hoss and the other was Pfeffer. What's that? Awesome, Pfeffer Incorporated. Shamil. Shamazel. Hoss, Pfeffer Incorporated. Is that from? Oh, it's from Wayne's World. <laughs> that's what was the actual Laverne and Shirley? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I never saw Laverne and Shirley. I did see Wayne's World. Um. But I did watch a lot of like Nick Van or Nick Nick Van Dyke, Nick at Night. Then you should have watched Laverne and Shirley. I didn't though. It wasn't on when I watched it. Yeah, it wasn't. I watched Dick Van Dyke, Mary Tyler Moore, and you know some of those. But no, I did not watch that one. Hmm. Hmm. Not name my dog Spunky. <laughs> VP SLW wheels listing for three fifty used scratched worth it for nostalgia. 350 is a lot. I don't know. Uh, it's a lot. Law question, do you want me to sing the Green Acres theme song too? Because I love that one. Green, this, this, people ask me what my favorite, um, you know, like what my hobby is. TV. Chief! Off my chair. This chair is never going to last, is it? No. Cole's favorite movie that Josh claims not to have ever watched is which one? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. What? That's from a cartoon. Bubba, hi. I think that my kitten needs me. Ewan cherished Josh, get a secret. Oh, well, they sent us this one, so. Okay. Quan Axel down. Needs gold wheel nuts. <laughs> I do have a loom I have five mil though. I don't. Why didn't you change the foams? Uh, I will later. I just have some peppers from Bugs Bunny. See, I was wrong. It's probably not even the fucking Laverne and Shirley thing. I'm, yeah. Um, I. Didn't I don't have the foams for these yet. I will change them out, but I got a while before scale nights. So we have time. See, they think about my, um, when I just say things confidently and you just say them and then. Oh, I mean. It's a German stew made of rabbit as well. That's what I was going to say. Uh, is what they said in Laverne and Shirley. So you are correct. Yeah. You are the best two two foams for 
heavy rig? Don't explain. Shmail schmazel. <laughs> what films are you going with? Um, well, I'll know more once I get, once the rig starts coming together and I kind of figure out where my weight will be. What is this for? What are you building? It's for scale gnats, basically. It's for Colorado. Oh, so it's like you're coming up. It's like your whole, like, it's not like a truck. Like, we're not just putting together a kit. No. No. It's one that I will spend all of my time on for the next three and a half months. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's what we've prepared all of these molds for. And, well, the start of these molds. I probably have another 150 hours of mold making to do as far as 3D printing. Oh, I hate oh, this thing. Nicole just hears the 3D printer in here going, <laughs> just constantly, especially during scale Nats pushes. Oh. It never stops. I'm like calling her from work. I'm like, hey, I started to print before I left. Can you go in there and check that everything's going well? So. <laughs> 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 There's been so many times where, like I was having problems with a print and I was like making her go in there. She's like, it's got this one little corner. I'm like, no, nope, shut it off. Just <laughs> like, doesn't this have alerts that tell you when it's messed up? I mean, I could do the whole like, uh, you know, white camera remote and being able to turn it off and on and I should, but. You know, the problem is that it'd be like one more notification and that you wouldn't check my, yeah like my already my text messages and what am i what am i at for missed text messages currently um oh i'm only at 34 34 text messages i haven't read 103 voicemails though that's gross 10 instagram messages so far But that's just since this has started. <laughs> well, I need to take a break. Okay. Jesus, with honestly, text messages anymore. Like, if I, I see him, I see him. I'm, and that's great. Uh, Facebook Messenger, I've given up on. Completely? Uh, yeah, I, messages on there are just not a thing anymore. Because okay. I can't, I just don't. I get them from people who like people will tag me in groups or whatever. Oh. And then those people will message me. and I'm just like, I will never see your message. And you can message me through one of my regular accounts. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> damn, I don't have 34 people text me in months time. I mean, I use it for like, it's my phone that I use for work and for everything. So yeah. Oh, and those, 34 text messages will just never be read. Like, I'm not going to get to them. I don't know where they are in my list. Like, they're just somewhere. If it pops up and I don't respond almost immediately, it's gone forever. <laughs> Alex, I can't remember the last text message I sent. I bet I sent 60 today to at least 10 different people. <laughs> so why have a phone? Because it's there when I need it. And yeah, that's, you know. I think what I need to do is change my phone number. I've had my phone number for far too long. Maybe I'll do that next week. <laughs> I just updated the Prusa firmware. It's super quiet. Oh, you know what? I have not updated my firmware in a really, really long time. What's up, Chief? Somebody taking her spot. Uh, how often do you get messages from Gray Matter Fam? <laughs> Every once in a while. <laughs> hey. Chew on wires.
Um, are capper universals and incision VDI universals supposed to cog when rotating at 40 degrees or more of steering? Every universal style axle shaft will. It's just the nature of a universal. It's got a fast and a slow portion. That's just a universal shaft. doesn't matter if it's a drive shaft or whatever. When you have two shafts and two universal joints in a single system that match angles, they will cancel each other out, and then you won't have that as long as they're in phase. But beyond that, yes. Uh, Josh wants to change the number because RC Fortnite wants to dis discuss that episode. <laughs> right. One more tire. One more hub. Uh, when is Vanquish coming through with a one quarter scale Roven Raminator that is American made for the, for the hunters and fishermen? Oh man. I was blown away when I heard that Roven and uh, Primal were the same people. That I did not know that. Roven is the company that knocked off the HPI 5B stuff. Um, and then Primal is the people that make that great big monster truck. I had no idea. <laughs> Steven Smith. Yeah, I think, yeah, Steven Smith, that was your, uh, that was your comment. And this, I saw that pop up. I was like, what? And then I talked about it with uh, Emmy Storm. It's like, okay. So yeah, it's like, oh wow, I'm kind of uh kind of out from wanting one of those. <laughs> don't don't really think I need a primal anymore. Not that I really was going to, um, but still. Uh, I don't remember a time when you weren't building wheels. Too many, so many. You know, I got three trucks to build for this here event. Each of them's going to need wheels. So. Um. <laughs> Shower dance time at PT So Shake. <laughs> Right. Feed seated. Build the class one good so I can buy it next year. <laughs> I'm hope I'm I'm super hopeful. Just, you know, I got a lot to learn. I'm still super nervous that this year I will absolutely fail. Because this year is again super uh a lofty goal. A lofty, lofty goal. So was last year, and it, it took, you know, I was building it. I was up till 2, 3 in the morning every night, right up until the day we left. I hope not, but we'll see. You should make a schedule. I have a schedule. Finish it by June. <laughs> Like, I just have to hope that I don't shish kebab my finger again. Oh, that's why you didn't get it done? It was that night I was trying to finish it. Oh, the night before we had to leave? Yeah. Okay. No. I could have got more done that night. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> <laughs> Did you vent those tires? <laughs> Remember, you'll be at out. I I'll, I will vent the tires. I did not yet. I always vent them once they're done. I just venting at the end is the way that I go. But 
the uh, I also will have to take these apart again anyway to swap out foams to some crawler innovation in the future. And which last year I remember doing, I was swapping the tire foams in Colorado because they came the day before. Not Colorado. Where were we? Alabama. Um, are you going to compete with the Falcons? Yes. Yep. They will be the tire I use this year. Just vent them at the event when they're about to burst. <laughs> or that's the competitive advantage. You build your class one tires at low altitude. You don't vent them. You go to high altitude. They balloon way up, but they're still a 419 tire. See? See? figured it out. I've figured it out. Nothing about tire pressure in the rules, folks. Uh, foams always crawler innovations uh, or sometimes Proline. Always crawler innovations. I like uh, his foams better than the, the crawl, than the Proline ones. I like Proline tires, but I, I don't like their foams as much. Um, Ah, I see, said the blind man. <laughs> you know how many times I heard that saying growing up? Oh my gosh, so many. So many times. Like every day. <laughs> Literally every day. Uh, yeah, that is no joke. My dad said that yeah. all the time. And my teachers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. We got that built. Now, I did do something that I didn't really explain. I put the knuckle weights on the F10s, but for these to clear, you need to use a 350 hub or larger. But I put on a 225 hub. So what my plan is, is that I'm going to machine these down. Uh, I'll, I'll put them in the mill and I'll take off an eighth of an inch off of that outer lip, take it down, it'll reduce some weight, but it'll allow me to get the wheels sucked further in. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Get that, get that cut down so I can run this. Um, I may go one step further, but that's for a, that's some, I've got some CAD stuff that I have to do before that will happen. So that is for a later date. Speed lock rings, wheel hardware. This stuff goes back to work. So, um, who's, who's brass is that? That is our brass. Uh, Talking to my wife about Thundercats when we were talking about old cartoons. Thundercats activated. Does Mac, does Matt have access to your milling machine? <laughs> Sometimes he's just like, can you do that for me every once? In it depends on what it is. But tires, Thundercats are go. Thundercats ho? What? I don't know. I don't think I watched Thundercats. Uh, what are your favorite wheels other than VP? Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know that many come off hand. I think that most of them, the beadlock rings and the machining detail don't look very high. Like some of them look shiny, but I don't really think that anybody else does machining detail as well. Um, I mean, I think that looking at most, I mean, I can be, I can be pretty objective about that in, in most ways. And, um, you know, if anything, like I've seen some of the, what are the, what's the uh, pro build wheels 
that some of the combos are kind of cool, like with some of the ways that they go together, but they're still not ones that I would I would run. Um, but I would say like, yeah, the pro build or uh, probably have the this style, like they have some decent styles that I do like. Um, so that would probably be my, if I was going to run something else, which I probably won't. Um, a lot of people love spec RC, but they seem boring to me. Yeah, I mean they're fine. They look pretty decent, but the machining detail I don't feel like is as as good or as high. You know, it's not as high detail. is what I would say. Um, and the beadlock hardware, oftentimes on a lot of, a lot of them, is just too big. That's how you can always tell, like the knockoff wheels. You can see the beadlock hardware is way too big, or not enough. Uh, okay, let's put some tools away. This, uh, I don't really have to do much more work tonight. Uh, The, the molding stuff is what is highest on my list. That's definitely going to be one of my tasks for this weekend is to get the, get these molds loaded up and carbon molded. I'm going to do, try and do the fender and the hood this week. So, um, what kind of machine do you guys use at VP? Um, I mean, we have a lot of machines. Um, we have a lot of Matsura, Brother. Uh, those are like our two main brands. We also have Citizen for our Swiss machines. Um, you know, there's a, we have a number of different brands, but uh, Matsura and Brother are our two like big ones two that we have the most of, you know, like five or more of each. Uh, has Vanquish looked at other wheel partnerships like 1552? Uh, yeah, there's there's some that we've looked at and talked to, things like that. Sometimes you just gotta, there's a lot of different, you know, little things. Speedio, yep, we've got uh, a couple of the S300 Speedio machines. We got a R450, 32BN, S2DN, um, had a TC31A, but that's long gone. That's that we actually sold the uh, TC31A to Holmes for Holmes to be his uh, his play machine. Um, but yeah, and uh, a couple of our speedios we've got with uh, automation. So big Fanuc robots that load it so they run 24 hours a day. That way they you lock the doors and walk away, and they still run when you're coming back in. <laughs> Don't need anybody there. That is the, you know, only way to try and stay competitive is you have to minimize labor. So yes, lights out machining. That is that is the the term in the in the machining world. Are there beginner classes at crawling comps? Um, not generally, um, but I feel like you. You can dive right in and just like, if you especially, I think that normally you're gonna to go to a place, they're gonna be pretty inviting. Um, so jumping into a comp situation, it's gonna be a little under or overwhelming at first. And, you know, courses can be super difficult, especially if you're not used to, um, used to competition, things like that. But you get, you get the hang of it. You start learning tricks and traits and tactics and you can, you'll, you can come up to speed. Uh, Josh, I met your Matsura rep at RC Country. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, definitely. I mean, there's they're kind of around. There's some of them that do RC as well. Uh, our, our machines all need human assistance. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, it's we've we've just con consistently tried to keep replacing them so that that's not been the case. 
Does anyone know of a 3D file to hang RCs on the wall by the axles? Um, for 10th scale, I don't know of one. I guess I would also just be like a little nervous about it for 10th scale, but I don't know of one. I, I guess I'd have to Google it. Um, so at the shop, they're not uh, 3D printed. The uh, just got a flex CNC. We have one end of the year. Uh, end of last year at work. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> what is a flex CNC, Dawson? Um, does VP only machine their own parts or does Vanquish contract their machine services to other groups? Nope. Only, only our own stuff. No, no job shop stuff. No other brands, anything like that. The machines at work only do Vanquish and like some little side projects here and there, you know, like we're doing, uh, we do right now we're working on some trophies for the high school band, <laughs> you know, and then pet projects for, you know, me and Brandon and <laughs> uh, RC Underdog. Thanks, sir. Does VP do consulting? I do a live consulting every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> I saw Ripper's Pills. Those look cool. Yeah, they should be cool this year. Um, you know, getting those. Uh, I think I've got to do like 30 trophies, 30 something trophies, and then a bunch of medallions. Jim does the or Ripper machinist does the machining side, and then I have to do all of the lasering and logo fixture work, all that kind of stuff, and becomes a lot of work. But you know, anyway, I, I tell you what, I can't tell you how stoked I am about how this thing is starting to look. How we're starting to get the front of a Porsche here, coming from. The fact that I had the, you know, only a file on my computer to actually having some, <laughs> I won't say hard parts because they're, they're floppy, but still, you know what I mean? Like physical parts. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a newer company. They just got into the CNC world. Uh, I guess they do robotic arm stuff. I think we got one of their first ones. Oh, okay. So that's its actual name. That makes sense. Uh, like lasering your own logo on rims. That was just like making sure, testing that the new laser stuff worked. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Porcha. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Pablo? Uh, do you know how many SCX10 Pros are released? I missed the first drop and waiting until April, hopefully. Um, I don't uh, I don't know that they've publicly said a number of how many went out. Um, I heard the number, but I. it's not my place to say. Uh, just make the body out of the mold. <laughs> just have it jiggle. <laughs> Way to gates. Just a little <laughs> jello j ooh, just put jello on the side. Jello jigglers. Or speaking of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, remember? <laughs> Commence the jiggling. So the da, da, da. gonna try and make Colorado in June usually go Labor Day, the fourth and Memorial Day. Yeah, I mean, it would be worth it. You just come up, you know, hang out, see it, and then go do your thing. Wait, uh, Wait, that's for the Mod 14. <laughs> yeah. This is what I've got to get to next. I've got to get a, I need to 3D scan this, I think. It's going to be a bit of an issue because it's black and I'm not going to, I'm not going to blow the dust off that. I learned that. I learned that last time. It just collects dust so quickly. But I need to get a 3D scan of this so I can start coming up with the uh, chassis design. I'll give $20 for that jello body. <laughs> uh, you should make the body into a yellow mold and cast Matt's servos in <laughs> a jello mold. Make the body into a jello mold. <laughs> yes, I, I knew what you meant. I got I got there after I read it. It made more sense then. I'm gonna look like the front of Not Sure's rehab car. I mean, we've got the silicone and we've got the 
But I'm just saying, yeah, like, <laughs> would scanning the Lexan, oh, Mon be better? I forgot I do have a Lexan version of it. I make, I make dumb choices. If you win with, with the beater, that looks like a beater. <laughs> oh my God. Some motorcycle style finish would look really cool on the Trojan bot. Luckily, class three, I will not need any additional fenders. Um, put some masking tape on the body before scanning it. I could do that, but I do for, I forgot I have a Lexan version that I can just easily do my normal method of dry shampoo and scan. So, yeah. Yep. That, you know, I, I have a solution to all my problems that I've created myself. I hope there's a tunnel gate in class three <laughs> that it doesn't fit through. Just Oh my God. <laughs> so, well, I've got to, uh, I suppose I should mold the front fender first before I decide to make the second one. So this fender, there's actually, if you see that little extra flat area or the lip, the fender itself is, you know, like four or five millimeters shy. It just goes to that edge. Um, so do have a seam that runs around it, but, and that will show up in the final carbon, but I'll be able to, um, we'll be able to, to get that sanded out. I hope, you know, it's going to be, this one's going to be tricky. If I can get this thing to turn out well, I'll feel, I'll feel much better about myself. And so this, this is one that I legitimately have concerns about, but I do have some ideas and I, I'm just concerned. So this one, the problem is, is that this has got like an undercut here. So even after I load it, I'm my hope is that I can take this and I'll like, I'm going to put, someone was asking weave or toe, both. I'll take and put the chopped toe in throughout. I'll make sure that it overlaps far enough out this way, like out into the, the wheel opening area. Um, and then I'll put the chopped toe up and I'll leave an excess length of, of weave. And then I'll take and put this in and then just kind of hope to, uh, to kind of force it in to keep everything pressed in place. And I'll just push this down and hopefully be able to get it to stay in place that way, like that. And then put the pressure on there. So that's my hope. I don't a hundred percent know if it'll work. Um, I just hope that it does. That's my plan. And my plan is, is that by using the weave as a backer, like I've found to be, um, like I've found to work that it'll help to hold everything in place. But, um, that's the plan there. The hood, the hood should be much easier. The hood is very straightforward. Um, I'll just load it like normal. Take the inner part. I'll have the filler in here so this isn't this doesn't deform. It'll have that 3D printed insert, and then I'll be able to take and get this pressed down in there, like that. I may I may press this down in there like that without the insert in actually that may allow it to be even better then i can get it down in there without having to like really squish the sides and then once it's in there i'll press the inside portion in the insert and then put it under compression
We'll see. We'll see. Um, but once all of those are in, I designed backing or pressure plates. So I have a pressure plate that goes, that's this, you know a little bit undersized from that. That'll go in there and then the whole thing goes under compression. And that's the compression is what pushes the, the excess resin out, the whole deal. Um, not gonna vacuum bag it? Nope, no vacuum bag. I do have a vacuum set up um, and I've got you know breather bags and all that kind of stuff, but um, it's just not the method I'm using. You know, you're not doing infusion or anything like that. Just going this method. It's kind of the quick and dirty style. The resin that's used in this type of thing uh, is a like a highly viscous, so it flows well. Yeah. Um, is there a way to trim it or just with your eyes? Trim what? I don't know what you mean, but yeah. So that's what you'll see. Uh, are the are there reliefs for the resin to squish out? It just comes around the uh, the silicone, and it actually works pretty well. Uh, when I was doing. Last year, when I did the all 3D printed molds, and it was just the tolerance of everything coming out, uh, it was way more difficult for that. You had to really slow your compression so that it didn't hydro lock on you. Uh, this one is way more forgiving. I'll put a, a significant amount of extra resin in there, and then as it squishes, it all just comes out, fills voids. It will go into like the cracks of the multi-piece mold and things like that. So in cases like this one with the draft and everything, or, you know, sorry, lack of draft, uh, there's a good chance that I'll just melt this mold away. Like you saw Matt, if you watched Wednesday's stream. So you just basically melt it away, pull it away, and you, you're left with the part. It's a disposable mold at that, that point, but you can always 3D print another one. So is resin for carbon fiber different than fiberglass resin? any compatibility. Um, I think that there is resins that are used for one can be used for the other or are used for the other because oftentimes you're mixing carbon and fiberglass anyway, but there is not all resins are the same. There's lots of different resins for both, you know, depending if you're doing one coat, multiple coat, you know, low shrink, high thermal, this and that viscosity levels. The one that I'm using, like I said, is a high uh, or low viscosity. I said it wrong the first way, but low viscosity. So it flows, um, flows easily. I said it wrong, I believe. Uh, how do you figure out your mold loading to get the thickness you're aiming for? Just try and be consistent, um, at least with this style. When I was doing it with the 3D printed, it was completely defined by the mold design. Cause you, I would go in, calculate the volume of the, of the part, the finished part that the mold was supposed to give. Then you take that volume times 1.6 grams per cubic millimeter. Yeah. Cubic centimeter, sorry, cubic centimeter. Um, and you would load, you would weigh out that much carbon. Then you would take and you would weigh, I forgot the ratios, but it was all very strict math. You just do the math, this much carbon, this much resin, add 25% resin for output, compress it. So, um, I still can't believe you sent Matt the wrong file. I was dying of laughter when he lifted that up. No, that's not, I, <laughs> I sent him, all the files. Um, I sent him three different files because I didn't know which one was going to work. But he was supposed to print the one with the flat bottom here. And um, I don't believe that he did. I believe he printed the one with the curved bottom. I have to go back and look, though. He says that he printed this one, but I think it was a different one. Um, what's the 
best first upgrade for a Phoenix straight axle. A little bit of weight in the front end. However you want to do that. Whether throw some aluminum wheels in there, you want a little bit of weight. Some brake rotors possibly. Um, you know. Um, or brass inner rings if you want to go that route. But you know, some nice wheels. Use the stock tires that come on the Phoenix, the RTR. Um, solid, but yeah. Get some nice wheels, throw a little bit of weight in the front. You're set. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. This print I think was 14 hours. This mold was 22 hours to print. And I have to do the other side. So that'll be what? 44. What did I say this one was? 54. So I'm going to have like over 50 hours of printing for the front portion of the body. And then I still have the rest of it to do, which is more difficult, likely. So just in mold printing for this, it's easily going to be. And I still, the pressure plates still aren't here. So I'll probably have 60 hours at least for this. So yeah, I bet I'll have 150 plus hours in 3D printed molds to do this. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little intimidated to build my first Phoenix kit trans. I'm going to start. Yeah, I know what you mean, Pablo. It's got all those bearings in it and you're not, you're not used to that. You're that, you know, that RTR bushing guy. The... <laughs> What's a good front leaf spring kit? No such thing ever. Uh, leaf springs can't be good in any way. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, really, I don't know if there is one. And I stand by my opinion. What will the A-pillars windshield be made of? Um, so most likely the same type of thing, carbon fiber. Uh, the windshield itself, I will take and 3D print a mold of like this. Um, sand and smooth it as best I can. And then I'll vacuum form the actual windshield uh, so that we have a nice, proper, clear, Lexan, you know, style windshield. So yeah, you know, I've got a vacuum former, so might as well make a proper option for us. Um, uh, Matt needs to be bagging. He said, look like crap after the carbon. We got all deformed. Ah, uh, so yeah, that is the problem with the, with the weave is that it can get all deformed and you'd lose that proper, um, but bagging is a, a whole nother thing and either got to do infusion or whatnot. Um, so that, that's why I do like the chopped, you know, the chopped look, it, it leaves things, it, it's chaotic on its own on purpose. And I think that that's fine. Um, but you know, the, uh, bagging, I don't think is the, is the solution. Cause that's a whole nother, that's a whole thing. He's going to have to, I, I mean, I even have the vacuum, I have the vacuum pump. I've got you know, most of the bagging stuff, I think, I think I've got, I don't think I have my, what do I have? I've got my peel ply and I, maybe I don't have the infusion layer or my breather cloth. One or the other. I can't remember what I still don't have, but yeah. Ugh. And it's almost impossible to perfectly line up the pattern of the weave. Yeah. Like unless you're doing, you know, pre, oh yeah. And if you're gonna try and do one to the next. I, I was, my thought with the hood is that I was thinking about taking and doing a strip of weave down the center and then doing chop around it um, and putting it down there. And then later down the road, when we're finishing it, I'll put some, uh, some pin striping to like separate and, and kind of have the difference between where the weave is and where the chop is without having them be so chaotic and covered up. But uh, would you try adding pieces of color in it like those ridge wallets? Oh, Dawson, do you, do you remember seeing my first attempt at that? I think maybe I threw it away, but <laughs> yep, I thought about it. And let me tell you, mine did not come out looking good, but Jace straight. Thank you 
for your donation. Much appreciated. Thanks for all the great content, info, entertainment. Keep it up. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, so, yeah. it. Uh, I think you have to do it. It's going to look nice. I hope. Paint is your friend. That's Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, do that. Put a couple of strips of paint, get it cleaned up that way, and then clear, you know, I'm gonna clear coat it when I'm done as well. Uh, this time, where did my. Where did my Phoenix side pods go? Solid question on my part. I don't know what I did with them. Um. Damn it, I thought I had it yesterday. Well, I guess it doesn't matter either. But, um, it, oh, right here. Eh, got it. So, this one here. And I even, I tried adding some metal flake, blue metal flake to this. Um, and you can kind of see it in spots, but it also isn't perfectly even. So that's another reason why I wouldn't do it. But this, what? Come here. Loud cat. Um, but this was sanded and then clear coated and I think it actually turned out pretty decent. I was in another massive rush for this since it was monthly mayhem, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, like this one, this, I was thinking about trying to add some color again. That's why I did the metal flake in this. And it just, the problem is, is it doesn't really infuse through in the proper way. I always take and I brush on a layer of resin in the mold first, um, just to kind of, well, it helps give you a nice even finish on the outside. And I always want to try and have a, a decent layer out there so I can help get it, get it done. Have you fully repaired your V-Speed Phoenix yet? I have not. I still need to uh, machine a new rear wing for it. And I want to get these installed. Those are like the, those are what's on my list. Uh, do you put the flake into the resin? Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, and I went pretty heavy with it even. And it just, it didn't show up like I hoped. It was really, it's a really fine flake. It's used for putting in resin. Uh, I got it from my friends over at Gately Audio. Uh, you got to use mica powder. I, that So this is very, uh, Gately, he does a lot of resin pours with mica powders and metal flakes. And this is so fine. It's basically like the mica powder. He would use it in kind of in place of it or one or the other or very similar. And I just, so I grabbed it from him. I think it was called Heisenberg. <laughs> you know, the, the blue makes sense, right? I think I still have it here. I don't think, maybe I returned it. I can't remember. Um, maybe the karma is just so dark. It, I, I think that is the problem because I added, I think more than what the normal recommended would have been. But I think that the carbon has a weird effect on it. Good boy. Uh, Josh, you still have those shrink RC hard body mounts for the VS Potency? I do, right there. I can see them from here. Um, if you want them, let me know. You can uh, you can have whatever you need. Heisenberg, Breaking Bad, exactly the blue. That's why. Get it? Get it? How has the cat been? Wait. How is the? Uh, so this is Chief. So we still have Sookie and Chief. Um, and they've, you know, they've been pretty decent. They, we, so we still have two. Uh, 
Safi, the one that we we lost last Thursday, she was much older. She was our snow bangle. Let's see. Uh, your last clear coat, you could mix in pearl. Yes, that would, I think, be the way to go, except that the clear coat that I'm using is out of a rattle can. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be the way to go. Uh, which shrink RC mounts do you have? I got some for the Mojave four door build I'm working on. Um, I have to check which ones I have. He sent me a bunch of them and I just didn't have a use for them at the time. Um, so I just, uh, I, I haven't had, but I was cleaning up in here the other day and I was like, oh, here, I got all these shrink mounts. So, but Eric lives close to me. Yeah, need them. Let me know. I'm around all weekend. Uh, do you, you what do you use for mold release? Uh, turtle wax, carnuba, carnuba wax. Um, I just get it worked into the mold and slather it around and make sure that it's good and good and thick. So, Eric, I'll check that. Uh, I'll check Instagram here in a little bit. Uh, thick, thick with two C's. Dang, it is nine o'clock already. We did good. Night went quick. I don't know exactly what else I'll work on for the night, but is your vacuum table built or bought? It was, it's a, it's a professionally constructed one. I did not build it myself. Um, it is by vacu 3d or something like that cat just wants beat up tonight uh happy nicole's back for the night yep i think that was it was, it was good for her to yeah it's good for her to get something done tonight i'm sure she'll hear that uh Mop and glow. Mop and glow works great for release and excellent. I don't know what mop and glow is, but I'll have to, I have plenty of turtle wax, I think, for the moment, though. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Josh, is your 3D scanner like the lizard, or is that all new? Uh, the lizard is what I have. Um, so Creality has two scanners. They have the CR scan 01 and they have the CR scan lizard. Uh, the lizard is, from what I can gather, is better for small parts like our RC stuff. The scan 01 is more large scale. So, um, when are you gonna get grade school surplus chair like that? Nope. We've got the, uh, we've got the E-Win here, which Chief seems to be fond of today. I'm on my, I'm on my bench swapping axle gears and F9 to the 33.8. Ah, good. Getting some underdrive going on. Uh, he's probably too know, <laughs> too young to know what mop and glow is. Uh, I am. I do not know what that means. Is, is it like? I was like, is that like pine salt? <laughs> is that like Murphy's oil soap? That's what I've used for mold release when doing uh, plaster and bondo molds. <laughs> it's a floor wax okay that's i was i was like i assume it's something like that floor clean yeah see i was i was in line um damn i can't hear <laughs> sandpaper tongue from here yeah good it definitely is <laughs> What have I missed? The whole show, because it's nine o'clock, Jeremiah. We are we are at the end. The something taste. It's hard to say. This cat is a weirdo. Um. And yeah. Anyway, we are we are good. We are at the end. What did you have on that thing? I don't know. You guys saw me working here. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining in. I'm going to 
pin chief here until it's time to go. Mold released it. Did I hear Wreckfest? Ah, oh, Dossie. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I could do some Wreckfest. I mean, I'm not going to load these molds tonight. And I'm probably not going to design the chassis tonight. Hmm. I could pops possibly do some Wreckfest. Ah, good night, everybody. We'll see you all. Jump on the, the old SBG Discord later.